Hey, fuckers, it's live with Clive. This is the Archie Luxury Poor Pluto. We do these every week. Live, Friday night live with Clive. Clive will be joining in very soon. I'm very fucking angry. I am fucking angry today. I'm very angry. I'm angry at Clive's friends, so-called friends. These fuckers here have dished yellow gold. What a bunch of fucking woozers. Woozer, woozer, woozer. What? Oh, oh. Wah, 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 wah. Woozers. Fucking bad loser woozers. And uh, yellow gold is out. Fuck me, Dad. I never heard so much fucking bullshit in my fucking life. Yellow gold is out. You gotta be fucking joking, aren't you? You are out of your fucking mind. What? Out of your fucking mind. Go out. What a fucking cunt of a statement to make. What? Yellow gold is out of fashion. What fucking bullshit. That really makes me angry. I'm so angry, okay? I am so fucking angry to hear that statement. Um, get get Haynes on. See if we can get the Haynes to on. I want to thrash this out with him. He's another person who's who's not in my good books at the moment. Get that fucker on. Um, I am so angry. It's not even funny. It's not even my money we're spending, and I'm fucking furious. I am fucking furious. Furious. You know that? I am fucking furious, Clivey. I am fucking so angry, so fucking angry about your bullshit friend's advice. What's the update you've got for us, Clivey? Tell me the fucking update. Well, the update is that... Hey, got we got, we got, sorry, sorry. We'll come back to, we'll come back to Haynes. I've got a fucking bone to pick with you. Don't you fucking go anywhere, Hainesy. You fucking wait for me. Okay, what's the, the fuck update? are you talking about? What's your update there, Clivey? Well, actually, actually, Archie has joined the coalition against male pot pattern baldness. So he's taking it personally against you, I think. Well, I got I no, I I'm actually I take I'm I'm using an experimental drug coming out in the American market called Pubicide. And um it, it is actually working. Pubicide? It is working. It's, it's an experimental drug I'm working on. Mm, I do have good. four. I, I looked worse than Don before I started pubicide treatment. Okay. There is uh, no one with a better hairline than me. I got um, a friend of mine who's lost his hair at 22. Okay. You got nothing to whinge about, big boy. Which, all right, hold on. Anyhow, it's cool not to have hair now. It's cool. They, they have that. You look like a HR consultant. You just shave it all off. Everyone in HR has that haircut. Super chat, $5, $15, oh, two super chats. Okay. Oh, so, fuck me. First David, of thank all, you. David Garcia, I'm spending, I'm, I'm selling a Speedy Pro for $2,400. Email at dgarcia89 at gmail.com. Hmm. 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 D Garcia. Or dgarc89 at gmail.com. Arch, your comparison to Rolex to the Hermes Birkin is way off. To get Birkin, you need to be a major client with their boutique. Not the same for a sub. That's by Tanzeel. He's talking about the earlier statement. Yeah. Uh, earlier video. I was starting to halfway watch that. Yeah, but you at Tanzeel, and look, let's not get caught up in the fucking technicalities here. What I'm saying is, is that. Rolex is using the Hermes business model of being complete fucking French cunts. You can be a fucking French cunt when you're French. You can't do it when you're fucking Swiss. Especially, especially with Hans's company. I mean, Hans was supposed to be a good guy. He gave watches to POWs on tick. How much cooler can you get than that? Right. Hans is my favorite German. Hans Wilson, Wellendorf. Wellendorf? Mm, that's the one. Clivey, you've had an update. 
they've told you the Patek has been serviced five years ago and it's been on consignment ever since then. Sorry, I, 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 I take that back. Eight years ago. Eight, it's been on consignment. It's been sitting on a shelf for eight years. Okay. Well, that's why you're going to um, come in and it's been offered to you at 15. Is that right? They're, while talking, they're talking about the seller. The seller actually is in the Pentagon, believe it or not. And I'm like, huh? What? He's selling it. Yeah. The, he's selling it. Look, I think realistically, why don't you lo offer 12? Uh, because it's a five. stupid watch and no one wants it. It's a dog Donnie, meter. It's Donnie. a dog case. Moreover, it's got Donnie, what millimeters. It's a bad watch. What's, Donnie, Run. Donnie, back, back the truck up. What are you saying, Don? What came Super out of chat. your mouth? Super chat, Archie. Tanzel, sorry, $5. Archie described the following YouTube gurus slash charlatans as a famous consumer brand. TGV, Fat Rico, Adricos, or Bruce Williams? Bruce Williams, any day of the week. I love Brucey. Describe them as a famous consumer brand, each one. What? Oh, okay. What famous <laughs> consumer brand would you describe TGV as? It would have to be, you'd have to say Long Jeans. Okay. Fat Rico. Uh, Fat Rico. Fat Rico. Fake Panerai. McDonald's. Okay. McDonald's. Adricos. Dude. Dude. Adricos. Uh, Dude. I would have to say Adricos. You'd have to say Steinhardt. Okay. And Bruce Williams. Bruce Williams. You would have no, to say. No, I would say Adricos is Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt. I think he means watch brands. No, it just says consumer brands. Consumer brands. Uh, okay, Bruce Williams. Uh, I would have to say, I would have to say. The Storm and uh, Mormon. Storm and Mormon. Okay, there we go. I don't even know what that is, but let's run with that. Thank you so much, Tanzilin. Tanzilin, I depend on these super <laughs> chats for my livelihood. Um, okay, Archie, sorry. What were you saying? Oh, um, I had another super chat. Yeah, no, the no, product no, Don, is, Archie is Archie not a good Don, watch. Don, 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 let Archie speak, okay? Do me a favor, let Archie speak. I can't you believe it. You just interrupted a super chat. It's, what? It's, 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 it uses a 240 movement, Don. That's the same movement they use in the perpetual calendar super and chat. the world time. Super chat, Archie. Imad B, where can I get the wife for 3K new or pre-owned? Thanks. Piece of cake. You get it. You get oh, a no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What can I get the wife? Oh, I thought I thought he was wanting to get a wife for three thousand new or pre-owned. I can, thought that would. I, I can do that as well. I can do that as well. Um, okay, what can I get the wife for three thousand new or pre-owned? Don, I a, let's let's start with Han Danes. Han Danes, a Star Wars story. Start with you, the Watch Father. Yes. What well, do you want to know for two or three thousand dollars? What do you get? Yeah. What yeah, can you get the Rolex. wife for three thousand new or pre-owned? There's nothing you can get that's any decent for that. I'm sorry, I can't answer the question. That's not enough. You got to up the ante to about five grand before you for get a wife? anything. A woman's? Dude, you just can't get watches for that much that are any good unless you get like a used Tudor Black Bay. That's about it, you know? For, Hang for on. a wife or a female. Female's version. You can get an Oyster Perpetual. Yeah. Oh, for a female? Yes. Yeah, what do you think yeah, I meant yeah, by yeah, wife? Yeah, I we're trying wife to lead like you, Donnie. I it's said like wife four cats. times. All right. Um, female watches suck, so get a Cartier. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Okay, Archie, what about you? Look, you would have to. Uh, look, you have to. The best watches you can get. I had one of these for sale not so long ago. I had one of these fuckers for sale, and thank um, there's some magic choices there for ladies. I, I've, uh, there's magic choices. Three grand, three grand gets you something really good. You can get a oyster perpetual. Oyster perpetual, fuckers. That's what I would get. An oyster perpetual. That's what I would buy. You get a nice ladies. And I'm making ladies. I want skinny ladies. I'm talking 26 fucking mil. 26 fucking mil. Ladies, oyster perpetual. That's what you get her. You get her that, and it is you are guaranteed in the sack for the next 24 months. Guaranteed, unconditional. Every night you will get action. Action! You will get action, man. You will fucking get action. Let me tell you now. That is the secret to happiness. 
That is the mythical secret to everything. You get her for three grand, you could get her a no date, very simple oyster perpetual, automatic no date. That's perfect piece, perfect piece, fuckers. Perfect piece, three grand, you get so many things. But I would always go Rolex because it's waterproof. She can wash the fucking dishes and still keep the watch on her wrist. If she ha if you get her a Cartier, they're not waterproof. Water will get in. The movement will fuck up. It'll cost you a 1000 to fix. You get a Rolex. 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 Re Where's Don gone? Where the fuck is he I don't gone? Know. Get I, back I'm... on, fucker. Get that fucker back on, would you? Um, oh. Get a Rolex. Get a Rolex. Get a Rolex. Simple as that. Rolex because it's waterproof. She can wash yep. the dishes and then she can service your needs. Okay, five dollar super jet, tan seal, and sorry. Archie, which of the following drinks would you prefer taking body shots out of, out of Fed, Fat Rico's belly button with? Mango herbal tea, red Kool Aid, or TGV's tears? TGV's tears. Uh, yeah, I could have told you that. drc 89 at gmail.com. I just got your message. I was so. Are we doing this or what? Your 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 the live show message. Right. That's how good okay, my the, mobile the phone. Is. Where the fuck is Don gone? I don't know where Don gone. Where's he gone? Time with Don. Don's time. Come on, Don. I love you. Get back on the show. Why is he fucked up like that? Don't tell me he's moody. Oh wait. Sorry. The irony app on my iPhone is just going off the scale for some reason. Anyway, so let's see, where were we? Hey, Did, by the way, you know, I was saying story, you know, Der Stiefel. Der Stiefel. Der Stiefel bought a Breitling from Joma Shop and they didn't send papers. The steeple, do you want to talk about it? Come back on the show. You want to come on and discuss it? That's the guy who does all the mimis yes. for me. The mimis oh, for yeah. me. He bought a brightly. You mean the memes? I thought it was he memes. Ah, oh, who fucking knows? I don't know these fucking Y Gen turd shit. I don't fucking know what they call them. Anyhow, he bought a Brightling. He bought a Brightling from Joma Shop, and apparently they didn't ship papers or or manuals with it. And I'd be more concerned about the papers. Why no papers? I don't get this. But they didn't tell him before they shipped it. I don't. But apparently, well, and I'll let I will let Der Stiefel talk about this in detail because mm. uh, you know, he's been in communication with me about it. I uh, I can't believe okay, it. Why would they fucking Stiefel, do that? Hey, uh, Der Stiefel, or if I may call you Der, Der, please check your uh, Facebook. Send the link there. Oh, by the way, give us a fist watch check. What are you wearing? Ah, uh, what do you think I'm wearing, Clivey? I'm wearing the Breitling Scheitmeister. The Breitling Super Ocean Heritage 2. Instruments for professionals. What are you nice. wearing, Clivey? Seiko, believe it or not. Vintage Seiko. Navigator uh, timer. Navigator timer. It's from okay. the 70s, and it has the – this is when Seiko was ripping off the Explorer 2 dial, and they didn't care who knew. It's so cool, isn't it? It really is. It really is. And actually, there's there's someone – there's one of the folks here in the Red Dirt Diocese, Brad Orchard, was saying, hey, uh, you know, this other one, it was like a navigator. Is it navigator timer? You mean like this, seeing all the pictures? And he's like, you suck. Is Don coming back on, or is he having – has he got sand in his vagina? Uh, I, I'm sure you're you're saying that's really going to help. Hold on. Get him back on. I I love Donny. You know that I love Donny. Well, yeah, and the thing is, the thing is, when it comes to movements, he really does know his and I, stuff. And I love about Rudy me. too. I love Rudy too. I love Rudy too. But I got to be able to give them shit. Oh, yeah. Only the pot of uses expletives. Could be we're both yelling at him, but it, I was a little annoyed. Ah. Because, like, what am I? I've told you four times, wife. Wife. Prima donna. Fucking prima donnas. They're these sons of bitches. What do you fucking do with them? Oh, but anyway, so 
so 15 and like okay super chat Tansil, I'm sorry. Thank you. Tansil. Arch, which of these is true? Clive replaces the painting on the Eiffel Tower behind him with a portrait of a big black cock when the show goes off air. Jay Anthony is a watch sensei. Sensei? Sensei? Or C, your tutor is shit. The tutor is shit? Okay. Answer done. So, but... Um, so anyway, now the thing is, I've been getting what I've been hearing is now even though that thing, ha even though that Patek has sat on a shelf for eight years, it's still probably you would still probably want to send it in for another service. I wouldn't be sending it to Patek, but you could get your uh, an independent to do it because it probably just needs a sort of very semi service, like a half service. Mm. But you really want to buy it? You said the, it, the price was fifteen. That's not the seven price. that we were talking about before. Oh, no, it's not. It's not. So, um, yeah. I think my honest opinion I is I think 12 is the money. I don't think. Oh, the Stiefel's here. Hey, the Stiefel. Hey, what's going on? Man, I can't fucking believe it. I'm just fucking so devastated. I, I, can't, just... I, can't, I can't believe it either. You bought a Breitling? Really? Breitling on time. Simply the best. What the fuck happened? Now, you bought it from Joma Shop. We love Joma Shop. Not that I get paid a cent. I don't get a fucking brass razoo from these sons of bitches. So right. tell me the horror story. What the hell happened? What 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 model was it, firstly? It was the uh, Avenger 2 um, Seawolf. The Avenger 2 Seawolf? Yeah. Not a great fan of that one, I must say, Der Stiefel. I'm not, not a huge fan of it, but okay. Yeah, but um, it was... How much was it? Um... It was like two thousand six hundred and fifty dollars American. Okay, and and they shipped it to you. I, I I saw the box. It was nice. The same box I've got. I love that 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 tan travel pouch with it. Yeah, genuine leather. It's 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 pretty nice. But when I took it out, you know, I looked. There was no papers. Of, uh, right. Well, you take the um, the cardboard piece out, and then there's nothing there. There's no papers. There's no COSC certificate. Um, you want that stuff. Sure. That stuff is important. Right, exactly. And it, it's my understanding. Especially that... with a shitter brand like Breitling, you want to have everything you can because if you want any hope of reselling it down the track, you need that stuff. Right, exactly. So, you know, it's like, I'm, I don't know what the hell happened, but... Um, so I You rang him up? up? Yeah, I, I called him up because it's, it's even my understanding that you're even supposed to get the electronic ver uh, warranty card, but they're supposed to be... That's right. Card. Um, cause you know, Joma is obviously a, you know, gray market dealer. A gray so market dealer. Up. So what? Right. So I call them up and they said that, uh, the first thing they said was, Oh, did you already call already? Because we already have notations on here that, um, that then why the fuck did they send it? If they've got right. notations. Then... Exactly. So she said, um, the lady at Joma shop said, we already had notations on here. Did you call already and notify us of this? Because. Um, you know, it already says that your, your box doesn't have papers. And I said, I just opened up my box like five minutes ago. And, um, so she's like, well, what you can do is, uh, I'll make some notations and I'll see if I can get you, uh, the papers for the box and the manual and everything like that. You know, it's the manual doesn't really matter. It's the fucking, the, the, the papers, the, the, the warranty card and that is so important. Right. So she said that. Uh, she's going to see what she can do about sending it out. And then uh, she said, I have to wait until Monday. And then she goes, but you can't wear the watch. Don't wear the no, watch. That, that's fair can't... enough. That's fair enough. If you're going to send it back, you can't wear it. I think that's fair oh, enough. I understand. I understand it. But this is what, this is what really chafes me is the fact that she says, okay, well, if you send it back, um, you know, they're going to charge me shipping for it. Well, why don't you tell them? I'm sorry, madam. Now this is where you be polite and say, Thank you, but I don't think that's fair that you've shipped a watch with no papers, knowing it didn't have papers before I got it, and now you're going to charge me shipping? I would say right. I'm going to go to the Better Be Business Bureau, file a dispute. I'm going to give you a bad rating on Google. I'm going to yeah. talk to the biggest YouTube celebrity on, 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 in the world, and I'm going to tell him about this story of woe. Wait, wait. He knows Christian? He knows me. You know Christian? Uh -huh. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Obviously. I just okay, can't right, believe sorry. this. I, that, I, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I think you need to talk to a manager. Excuse me. Can I please talk to your manager? I did ask that. And she said that it's a religious holiday on Fridays or something like that. So they send everybody out um, uh, at three o'clock or something like that. Every Friday. She said like every Friday. Like, are they fucking Mormons? What? Are they? What the fuck are these people? I'm sorry. Could I, could I, can I please speak to the head hedonist, please? Can I speak to the hedonist in charge? Yes. Exactly. So, you know, I, I asked to speak with the manager. They said, you got to wait till Monday. We'll see what happens. Um, I like to watch. You know, I want to keep oh. it. I want to wear it, though. It sucks. I have to wait till Monday. Yeah. Durstiefel. Um, super chat for Durstiefel. Durstiefel for Intanso. I'm sorry. We get equipment like TZ. Like we get, like is straight from Rolex factory specifications. It costs a lot of money, but it's not about. But it's not about the money. Uh, I feel like I'm doing my passion. Shitelings on time, simply the best. We can always count on Tanzilan. <laughs> so, what do, what do you think about the mug? By the way, I like it. I like it. I would totally, uh, you know, have a nice beverage out of that uh, cardinal mug. Now you notice you notice I'm holding a uh, you notice I'm holding a list in my right hand. Yes. Okay, and the expression on my face, right? Yeah. You know what the list is? What's that? It's a list of people complaining about uh, watch reviews that they've paid for but haven't received yet. Oh, that, they're coming. That, that explains the expression on my face. They're coming. I've done. I got three coming up after this live show. Whew, that was That's nasty. Rough. Okay, uh, Nature Boy, two two dollars. Okay, one thousand bot. Get out now. What I do to you? <laughs> <laughs> now, now, D Daya, what's your name, sir? What do I call you? you, you you're the Mimi guy. The Mimi, mi my Mimi. What the fuck? How do I? I'm not, I'm not Mimi T. That's for sure. No, I know that. I know that. Um, what's your real? What's your first name? What's your first name? Stir, John Dur. Paul. John Paul. John Paul. Yep. Look, this Brightling. Do they have another one like that with, with papers and box, or what do they have? They told me that it's going to be about six weeks before they can get another one in. Oh. Okay. Derm super chat, Stephen K. Man, you stepped into the arena, Der. Der Stifle, nice looking hoodie. Do they make it for men? Well, actually, I got this hoodie from his mom's closet, so I forgot to return it. Sorry, bud. Nice. So, are you angry? Tell me how you feel about this whole Joma shop situation. Um, not extremely happy about it. I mean, I'd like to wear the wear the watch. I spent good money on it. Uh, I bought it. I want to wear it. Uh, now I have to wait to see what's going to happen, you know. Um, oh, that's one thing Americans don't like is to wait. You know that? Don't they don't wait. like. But this is the thing, too, is, is that I said, okay, if you can't give me the papers and uh, that, that you guaranteed me when, I, when I'm when buying the watch, is there any way you could just give me a, a partial refund for it? And she said, nope, can't give you a partial refund. She said that the watch was already discounted enough. Um, at four hundred. Well, just tell her I'm going to send it back to you. I want my money back. Send the fucking thing right. back. Wrap it up and send the fucking thing back, dude. Right. Wrap that's, the fucking thing up and send it back. Yeah. So. And just tell her I want my full money back. Otherwise, I'm going to make a complaint. Right. Archie Super Chat. If there, you were yeah. to give advice to the Muppets that live in your YouTube comments, what is their best approach to getting in bed with Mimi T? Don't ever sleep with staff. That's the rule I've always had there. So, um, I've, I, I, uh, look, I got to be honest with you. Uh, I tried to do a YouTube channel with her, but it was a flop because her ego got in the way of, um, of greatness. She didn't listen. You got to, you know, I'm trying to help you do well in YouTube. I mean, fuck, just cut me some slack. Now, what do you think about that? Uh, what do you think about that Speedmaster for twenty four hundred that David Garcia is offering up? 
That's a pretty good price. That is a good it price. Really yeah. That, does I that see, it doesn't have box and papers. It, no, it's just speedy by itself. By itself. Now that's yeah. not the um, that's not the automatic version, right? That's the classic. That is the Speedmaster Professional. That is correct. Actually, hold on. I Let forgot me... to put my I forgot to put my Brightling cap on. Brightling, I love Brightling. Do you like my dear Staple? Do you like my new Brightling I've got? I I do. I like the hat. I like the black bay. Now, don't leave that hat on the ground because you don't want the carpet beetles to eat it. No, no. no, no by the way, are you say are you showing my screen up? My email yeah, up or not? Yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah. I am. Is that okay? Or but don't do that. What do you want? Clive? That's what. No, I was just actually showing one of the pictures by uh, David, uh, David Santiago about the Speedmaster. Okay. Very beautiful. Yeah, it really is. Oh, and of course, Super Chat. Clive Mentor Wrangler, you're always getting scammed to buying these shit fucking vintage no name brands from Cleo and Ferris. Don't buy the Speedy from that Nigerian prince. <laughs> look. Look, Tanzil, he said he didn't say he was a prince. He said he was an executive vice president with the First Bank of Nigeria. So I think that just, to me, that just says legitimacy all over the place. I want to say this. Are you angry at German Shot? How angry are you? Tell me. Because I love my Breitling. I love my Breitling. How angry are you? Tell me. I'm pretty angry. I mean, I I got, um, I bought a bunch of stuff from them in the past. Um, the last thing I bought was my Speedmaster Professional. It came with papers a in a box? Um, it came with, um, what's it, the leather warranty card? And uh, it has like the plastic card in it that has the model number and the serial number on it. And it came with the manual and all that stuff. And then, you know, it came with the big box set. Yeah. So, and th this one didn't even come with a manual. It's just an empty box, just the, the travel case. The manual the doesn't matter. It's the fucking, it should have, they, why didn't they tell you it didn't have it? I don't understand this bullshit. I have no idea. I have no idea. I think you need to talk to someone senior. Monday, you ring them up and say, I want to talk to, I want to talk to the, the, the president, the CEO. Well, we don't, you know, ask for the president. Okay, Super Chats. Nature Boy, $2. Dear Steve, return the yep. watch and get a hair transplant. Dude, come on. Man, not, not cool. Not cool. This is why we can't have nice people over. <laughs> uh, okay. And uh, the S one is for David Gar Dar Garcia. I'll sell it to you, Clyde, for $2,300. you will probably have to buy a link, though. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll talk. We'll talk, but Clyde's kind of busy right now. Do you want to cool. hear a Brightling story? Do you want to hear a Brightling story? I haven't made the video yet, but I'll, I'll tell you der self. Okay. Der Stifle. Der Stifle. I like to mispronounce it every time I say it, okay? Sounds good to um, me. You, you mispronounce it a different way every time. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Now, um, you know, I went into the Brightling Boutique in Sydney. You saw the footage. Yeah. And they said to me, we don't discount. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. We sell at retail prices. Oh, that's okay. What happened to my Brightling is the guy originally bought it in Melbourne from a dealer, from an AD. Right. Full, full retail, 6300 Australian dollars. <laughs> he bought it on Boxing Day, the 26th of uh december three right. days like later canadian black friday yeah three days later he wanted to get rid of it he sold it to a dealer a used Why watch dealer and he uh paid. he sold it and they because i'm archie luxury and i'm going to promote them a bit they sold it to me at cost they sold it for he saw they gave him literally from six three they gave him Three six for it. Wow. Damn, damn. Aussie, we're talking Aussie dollars, not US. We're talking peso. Still damn. Still well, that's damn. A that's definitely a difference. And well, uh, know, I, I'm so got you know jewelers, jewelers and their games. I mean, one of the things around here, the local guy down my street that does Rolex, cheap. Char I'll just I won't say the shop, but I'll just call him cheap Charlie. One of the things you, is this that one of the people have told me is that if you take anything for him, you'll hear a bunch of unfortunately's. Well, unfortunately, this doesn't. Oh, never mind. Super chat. Archie was more iconic. The Seiko Turtle, the Orient Ray, Clive's cheap suits, or TGV's Audemars Piguet. 
I'd have to go with Clive suits. I love Clyde suits. They're quality. They're quality suits. Yeah, well, this one's not my best one. You know, it's just a just a traveling suit, basically. If you know you're going to be spending, I always time. find the crotch wears out. You know that. You know when the crotch wears out, I keep wearing it, even though the crotch is completely gone. Well, <laughs> you know? that's I just, fucking it's... hate that. Don't you hate that? The crotch wears out on these fucking things. Carpet beetles can eat your crotch. You know, it's just a nasty Carpet fucking. Carpet beetles can eat your crotch out, huh? Wow. Got to watch out for that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, oh, James. Wong. Two dollar super chat. Archie, will Bitcoin go back up? Is the bubble over? I've got money well, in Devil Coin and also uh, BitConnect. Don't ask me. I've lost big time. Okay, I lost big, money. big, big, got, big, big time. You've got money in Davros Coin. Yeah, Devil Coin. Devil. Coin. Davros Coin. Yeah. Okay. I had money. It's worth very little. Okay. Daphros coin. It's the alternative currency for Doctor Who fans. Uh, okay. So, Arch, did you ever get that damn Christmas card I sent you? I think I did. I remember now. I think I did. What color envelope was it? It was a red one. Sorry, Arch, just hang on. Did you get my Christmas card? No. Good, I didn't send it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Sorry, thank you. Is this the one? Yeah, I think that's the one, yeah. Ah, thank you so much. So this is the Christmas card here. Here we go. Paul, best wishes to you and your family this holiday season. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I hope 2018 brings you all of the things you want in life, especially Plenty of safe travels and the Breitling Super Ocean heritage you want. Take care, my friend. John Paul, thank you. Detroit, Michigan, thank you so much. I got to tell you, thank you so much. That was one of three Christmas cards I received this year. Oh, that, well, that, okay, that kind of explains Joma Shop. You know, they're like, well, we could include the box and papers. But by the time he gets it, he'll probably be shot dead anyway. So, eh. <laughs> or robbed. So, maybe Rob, yeah. they're less likely to rob me without papers because it's worthwhile. Hey, we just got a $5 super chat. Can I get a shout out for your boy, Sir Charles Kingsford Smith, Kingsford. who celebrates his 121st birthday today? Yes. Yes, sir. Charles Kingsford Smith, one of the great I saw it. I saw it. Australian aviators. You know who he is, don't you? No, I don't care, really. I just, I don't want to say I don't care because that would make me sound uncaring. He's one of the, the greats, Australian greats. He's, he's one of the greatest aviators. He, he flew a fucker. Is that like a Dutch lady boy? Uh, yeah, it is a Dutch. They, they, they made great aircraft, actually. Now, Der Steef, Der Steef, I, uh, I want to say to you. Um, Super chat. Okay. Arch. Which day was your worst? When the Indian named Kubar took your IT job, when a British lord stole your YouTube views, or when you realized you never read John Paul's Christmas card until now, you ruthless fuck. Thanks, Tanzillan. <laughs> yeah, okay. Normally, I normally yeah. sometimes I get tired of it. Every once in a while, Tanzil hits a home run. Hey, we I think it was when the British. I think it was when the British lord stole my YouTube views. Okay. Also, because they're $20. not going anywhere fast. I can tell you now. My views are in the toilet. I've got no views. It's just terrible, dismal. No, uh, fat, Twenty sec. I don't know what the hell that is, but uh, it's from fat ass bitch. My Honda Civic. <laughs> How much to drink your own piss in in Batman versus Hulk? Cool. Uh, I'd need a thousand dollars for that. Okay. A thousand Australian dollars or a thousand Canadian dollars. Thousand Australian, certainly more than a thousand SEKs. Okay, so our Batman, Batman versus Hulk. Yes, there's no, there's no question about that. Hulk Batman would no, Hulk would actually beat the shit out of Batman. I mean, yes. come on, he's the Hulk. I mean, Batman has some cool toys. You know, he can fly in the air, but Hulk, right. you know, even if he tries You're to escape right. the Batmaster. Hulk will just get more pissed off, jump in the air, and just take that fucker down. So yes, no, no I agree. Definitely Hulk. 
Definitely I Hulk. I agree. Now, now Batman may get more tail, especially when he's Bruce Wayne. Ah, yes. And he wears That's a reverse. Batman wears a reverse. Right. No, actually, Bruce Wayne wears a reverse. So. That's true. Yeah. So, Paulie, how did your son like the Tissot? Ah, he liked it. Yeah. Yeah, he liked it. That was an expensive gift. I don't normally give expensive gifts like that, you know? Yeah, it seemed like it was kind of an awkward, awkward filming there. Uh, it, yeah, yeah, it wasn't rehearsed. Everything's not rehearsed. He'd only just woken up, so he's a bit dazed. Yeah. What time think, was it? Film? I think it was about 11 o'clock in the morning. It's a joke. Okay. <laughs> um, I'll just be one tick. Just one tick. i got to grab this. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry to hear about that, man. That sucks. Yeah, it's all right. You know, I'll, I'll figure it out. If not, um, you know, send it back or whatever and get one with papers or it'll be all right. It's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. What? Now, um, one, uh, oh, hold on. Can you uh, talk to the, I'm going to pull an Archie, man. Sorry. You're, you're given Im impromptu cardinal status. Hold on. Oh, not bad. All right. Let's see what everybody's talking about here in the forum. Port Valenick, Archie's son was stoned. That's a possibility. How's everybody uh, on the chat doing tonight? How much snow does everybody have where you're at? Where's everybody from? Here in Detroit, we have like 12, 13 inches of snow right now. It's ridiculous. A foot of snow. That everything's going way too fast here. Van, a foot of snow. Yeah, right about the same here too. Eighty-five degrees. Doctor Bruce, where are you from? And hey, I I, un I understand what you're saying there, but I gotta tell you, if I advertise something at a certain price, why the fuck I advertise at a certain price? Why would I sell it less than I advertise it for? You know, I'm just saying to you, why, why, why would I advertise it? Why would I advertise it? Yeah, and where the fuck? Uh, my father went to Vietnam. You know that? My father went to Vietnam to protect ships like you, and you're going to abuse me? My father went to Vietnam. You know that? My father went to Saigon. Okay? My father went to Vietnam to protect you. No, he didn't. I think Arch accidentally hit the unmute button. I think he did too. But this makes pretty good video. Actually, it does, yeah. My father went to Vietnam to protect you. Yes. Keep on, Arch. Oh, he's off again. That was great content. We're missing out, everybody. Damn. I wonder who he's talking to. <laughs> I want to know bad now. This is going to make great conversation afterwards. Okay, well, yeah, actually. So anyway, yeah, so so you got screwed at least a couple of times. A, you live in Detroit. B, yeah. you bought a Breitling. C, you didn't get box and papers. That's true. Well, I got box, but no papers. Okay, and well, right. That, right. We're, getting, we're getting totally fisted right now with the snow. I actually, I should say double fisted all the way to the elbow. Uh, look, like coming down look, now. weather... Look, hey guys, weather sorry, is, sorry about weather, that. Sorry, hold, sorry hold about on. that. Wait, 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 wait. Weather is unpredictable, Durr. I mean, right now it's 62 degrees in Oklahoma. Do you hear me complaining? No. Oh, That's God. because I'm a man. We don't <laughs> complain about the weather. Damn. It's cold out there. That's for sure. Very cold. I was I had to I had to spend a lot of car in the time in the car, and this side of my face is now sunburned. But you know what? I take it like a man. Well, wait. I just realized. Never mind. I mean, you know. Right. So hey. you take it like a man, not like a lady boy. No, 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 no. No, I no. I meant to no, no. Hey, sorry about that, guys. I just had a I had a I had a sales inquiry about an ad I was running, okay? Do tell because that was an interesting conversation. 
So let's hear the about person Vietnam. That you saw... Sorry. AC2 went to Vietnam. <laughs> hey, it's a great line. Hey, it's a great line. It's a great line. Don't you think? It's a great My line. Okay. Hey, he was drafted. He was drafted. Okay. You know, the hey, other Dirk. line is, is that I'm glad my dad defaulted on the draft to not to protect sons of bitches like you. He was rude wow. and Super a nasty. Chat. Super chat. Archie, you mentioned on the phone call that your father went to Vietnam. Yes. What advice would you give the Muppets in your YouTube comments if they want to go to Vietnam and muff dive Mimi T? Use rubbers. You got to use rubbers. You're going to pick up so many things. My my dad's battalion that went there, he was drafted and uh, he was, my dad was happy to serve his country. Okay. He was happy to serve his country. Um, they actually had a, yeah. they had a, I, I'd like to, we had a communist. I'd, like to do, I'd like to do a live stream with your dad. I have so yeah, many I've, questions. I've yeah. actually had a major oh, dispute with my dad. I've had a dispute have, with my father. We're no longer on I that have sort of term. So many, so many questions. We're not on speaking Buddha terms at the moment. Reviews Archie's wristwatches. We're not on speaking terms at the moment. That's well, give me a give me a phone yet. number or his life. Give me a way to live stream him, and I'll do it without you, and I'll try to pin a good word for you. Also, mm, okay. Look, we just we're just not on talking terms at the moment. Okay. Okay. How much would someone have to super chat you to not be on speaking terms with you? <laughs> Guys, I want to tell you this. This is a disaster with the Breitling. Durr, tell them you want your fucking money back and you're pissed off at how they're treating you like shit. Yeah. <laughs> you tell them you're a customer who's bought so many pieces. I just can't fucking believe this. I'm going to ring them now. You want me to ring them? I'll fucking ring them now. Hey, Durr. Durr, quick, quick, quick uh, Vietnam joke, okay? Yes. Do tell How me. many Vietnam veterans does it take to screw in a light bulb? <laughs> oh, God. I don't know how many. You don't know because you weren't there, man. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. I love that joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, look. Look. Look, I got to tell you the truth there is that... Um, I'm going to figure it out. Guys. I'm going to figure it out. Hey, why don't you... No, you, you, you want me to ring them for you? you? I will ring them for you, duh. I'll ring him for what? you. Let me fuck it. I can handle it. I can my smooth talk them into helping you. Then the, then why don't you? Uh, double. Why don't you pay Archie to do a fuck Joe Mashoff ad for a month? <laughs> yeah, on the end of every single video. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Joe Mashoff double fists you. Simply the best. <sighs> yeah, that wouldn't be good. What do you reckon? Actually, yeah. Now, how much would you charge to do an ad like at the end of every video, including your cross-posted videos, your cross-posted well, I, I think videos. I think Joma Shop will fix it up for you. I really don't think it's going to – I think they'll fix it up. I think so, too. Once I speak to a manager, I'm sure she'll get it all straightened out. You know, I uh, just the person I was talking to, she said that she was rather new there, and I got her name, so I'm assuming that when I finally speak to a manager, I'll straighten it out. Just tell them uh, you don't want it without papers. You promised it with papers. You want a substantial discount. Breitling is super shit. They're super soft. Yeah. I'm just going to tell them. I said, you know, I've given you business. I'm planning on giving you a lot more business. I've recommended you to, you to other customers who have heard bad things. I said, just help me out. Make it right. Tell them that you're a cardinal on the Archie Luxury Channel and that you will use your considerable influence. Exactly. I'm bringing lots of business at Joma Shop. We've spread the good word. We've preached Joma Shop. Best place Say, yeah. Have you noticed? Have you noticed your uh, Speedmaster Pro sales have gone up in the last three months? That's Archie Luxury. Do you want that? Okay, Durstifle. Okay, um, Tanzil. Durstifle, being a citizen of the great city of Flint, Michigan, why are you buying Brightlings when you could be support when you could support local and get a Shinola? Oh, uh, no, not a Shinola. Definitely not. If anything, if I had to spend the money, I'd probably get something from the Detroit Watch Company. So at least they're automatic movements. Hey, 
Is it true you can buy a house there for like two hundred bucks in 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 Detroit? Oh man, that's overpaying. You can get one for like fifty. <laughs> no, seriously, is with, it true? With guest quarter with guest quarters in the back. Yeah. Is it true? It also comes pre-stocked with guests. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is it exactly. is it true or not? Is it true or not? Well, Detroit is a friendly place, um, and it's an interesting place, I must say. Um, actually, what made you good. move there? Why did you move there. there? I was born there. Did you buy? How well, many houses do you own there? Um, right now, I live right outside of the city. I moved out of uh, the city a little while ago, so I bought a, a nice new place a little bit further out in the suburbs. Now, Dur, is it thousand bucks? What's that? Was that a thousand bucks? <laughs> no, no, not a little bit, a little bit more than that. <laughs> no, Dur, Dur, yeah. I need to ask you a quick question. Is it possible? Is it possible to get a ranch style home in uh, Detroit? I've got a friend that wants to know. <laughs> yeah, you can, uh, you can get stuff pretty cheap, but uh, you just got to be careful. Actually, real estate downtown is incredibly expensive. Um, I mean, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Interesting question. Interesting super chat. This this has the potential. This has some potential here, guys. Listen up. How much do I have to pay to hear an epic rack battle between Eminem, Der Stifle, and Biggie Smalls, Archibald Archibald Shitterfield the Third? <laughs> That'd be pretty tough. I think I'd rather see uh, uh, Archie's Rolly dance mixed with the chicken dance again. You know how much how much was it for Archie to stand shirtless with a bucket of KFC on his head and sing "I'm a I'm a little teapot"? Was it 150 or 100? I think it was 100. Yeah, 100 yeah. I, was, I'm uh, really really broke today. I'm really so 100, broke today. 100 bucks for Archie to stand there with his shirt off in a bucket of KFC over his head and sing "I'm a little teapot." I'd like to see that. There's got to be a team for that. I think someone said to me, my customer service skills need a lot of improvement. Do you agree with that or you don't? Well, you got my uh, my paid review out pretty quick. It was maybe like a month and a half or so. Yeah. Six you weeks. That was pretty reasonable. Okay. Can, can well, say, it's you it's reasonable because he knows your work. On, on, uh, your, to your messages when I message you. <laughs> I, I don't. When do you message me? On fa which one? Whereabouts do you WhatsApp, message me? Whatever, on WhatsApp. You're like, you know, I'll send you something and then... Uh, send I'll me see something now so I know it's you. Send me something now so I know it's you. Okay. How do you send them something on WhatsApp? I've got other people in there, but I don't seem to find Archie. Really? It just sounds yeah. Finds it from the phone number, Clivey. Oh, I think uh, Don's joining here. Oh, fuck. Don, come on. I'm sorry for being nasty to you. Don's got, Don gets angry at me. I'll just shut All up right. and sit in the corner. Just sent you a message there, Arch. Uh, I respond to you. Every once in a while. Okay. I, under I apologize. I've had. I've had some issues, okay? No problem, brother. I'm not 100%. You know that, don't you, or not? Yeah, yeah, I know that. But that's why I check in on you every once in a while. And I know you were down at Christmas time. That's why I sent you a Christmas card. Yeah. No, I do appreciate it. I, 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 sorry. I'm, I'm sorry for not responding. I apologize. I, I've just, it's all right. I just had a few personal problems, okay? We got to make sure our main man AC3 is good to go. Pushing mm. off that content for the for the punters. Yeah. In rare form. Yeah. It's hard sometimes, you know. I understand. You just see, you know what you need to do to make you feel a little better. It's just another chicken dance. Yeah. I don't know. I've just been a bit down lately. I've had a few things go wrong. You'll be all right. I'm sending you Here a year supply of picks for you, Dirsty Eiffel. I see. And maybe I'll use some of those to uh, make some uh, memes with. No. 
I think I've got some mental health issues, by the way. That'll what do happen. you think? Okay. Here's a what question. do you think? Yeah. The, uh, the briefcases, the Louis Vuitton yes. briefcases, the HPP, yes. what does the H stand for? Yeah. Horatio Paul Pluto. Horatio? 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 Horatio, you know, you know, Lord Nelson, Lord, Lord Nelson, Lord Nelson. Fellatio? Hornatio, H O R E N A T I O. Horatio, Horatio. Horatio. Right, Horatio. It's like they knew when you were born. Call Don Haynes. Could you say that again? Call Don Haynes. I've been a bit down lately. I've had some. You'll be all right, Art. You'll be all right. So tell us, where'd you get the hat from? Did that come with the purchase? No. What's your voicemail? James Wong, two dollar, a two pound super chat. No, I actually. Sorry. I love you, Archie. You're my hero. I wish I was you. Okay. okay. Now, James, what you need to do is you need to get some super glue and two raisins. Okay? If you want... Oh, wait. Another super chat. Sorry. Uh, Tanzil and sorry. $10 Canadian. Der Stiefel. Ways to improve Archie's ratings. Him selling that fucking shit tutor. Him telling the story of how he sexually harassed Mimi T. Or changing the channel name to the Fellatio Paul Pluta Prestige. <laughs> That Tanzil, mm. he's a good guy. He's very good. He's a good guy. I like that dude. He's I've a cool been, dude. I've been very, I've been a little bit, I've been a little bit, the mental health has been a little bit bad this last week, okay? What's going on? Tell us about it. Uh, my son's turned 25, so I realize I'm getting old. I had a fight with Herman. He's a good friend of mine. I had a yeah. fight with my dad. Uh, Jack Black, no, 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 that's not going to work. There's an offer from Jack Black for $500, but I'm not going to read what it is. Ah, Bear Clooney's on. What's up, Bear Clooney? I love Bear Clooney. Bear Clooney is so cool. Guy. We're actually uh, supposed to have a watch get together tonight, but um, the oh, nice. weather's way too bad over here. I had the bunny video, Bunny Clooney. I, made, I put the Bunny Clooney video up too. I saw that, yeah. His wife's really cool. Oh, absolutely awesome. Bear Clooney's awesome. Great group. Great, great guy. So what watch are you wearing? Uh, I'm wearing the uh, Explorer 2 Polar. Cool nice. watch. Eh, I mean, yeah, it's great. It looks great on you. I mean, it looks great. It looks good. I had to bring up the stick and I was wearing a shitter before, so I was out there plowing the snow. It's so snowing out well, there? It's Detroit, right, dude. Ridiculous. We have like a foot and a half of snow. I've already uh, used a snowblower twice today. It's ridiculous. Fuck. It's horrible. Look. It's horrible. I had to turn the AC in my car up halfway going down the interstate. You don't hear me complaining. God. Well, you see, actually, wouldn't, shouldn't, wouldn't the Polar Explorer be the perfect watch to shovel snow in? It is the Polar Explorer, is it not? Well, I just watch it, and um, you know, and it just reminds me of um, the snow outside. The Nature Boy, two dollar super chat. Clive, stop blowing that robot's dick. What robot is this? I don't understand that comment there. Oh, okay, got you. Yeah, Mark Yusupov too. Mark Yusupov's on. He's a great dude, great guy. Blazing Mark, shout out so, to my boy. How angry are you about the Joma Shop? Kafakul. Kafafel. I'm, I'm pissed. I want to wear it right now. I want to wear the bright link. Right now. Is it wrapped in it. plastic? Yeah, it's still wrapped in plastic. I'll, I'll, do an, I'll do an unboxing. Okay, but don't put it on. Don't put it on, just in case anyone from Gemma Shot. No, this okay, don't put it on. This is how just, in case any of the, just in case any of the 22 people on the live stream are from Gemma Shop. Exactly. Right, exactly. And if they do, hook me up. So it comes uh, boxed up like this. We'll take yep. it out. Comes with some papers, some uh, Joma Shop papers, and uh, Joma Shop warranty card. Super chat. 
Archie, if you were a recommend a, gen a genre of porn for Clive to unwind after the show, would it be Latina girls and their vintage sex toys? Mm. Mark Goldberg's private VHS collection. Tranny casting couch. Tranny casting couch for Clive. Thank you. No. Clive's no, casting no, no, no. couch. They, they, said, they said for me, not they said for me, not uh, you. For me. Now you're not unboxing you. it here. So it's inside here. Yep. I must admit they boxed it pretty well. What do you reckon, Clive? Yeah, it's really right. good, actually. They did a good job. Okay. I like that new box with the rivets, don't you? Yeah, it's nice. It's actually it's a really nice box. Um uh, I can't and believe I've, I've you know the, people talk about how heavy the watches are. Yeah, but you I know the bottom folds into the, the top. Thing. You know that, don't you? The bottom part folds into the bottom. You know that, don't you? Yep. Oh, I've watched you. Yeah. Uh, I've watched yeah. you do that. Yeah. So yeah, I love that. that That's so cool. Okay, so show us the watch. Yep. I love that travel case idea. That's such a cool idea. Wow. I take the. Maybe they won't take it back. So just took the plastic piece off, but we'll see. Wow. It's a, it's a nice looking piece. It's not my cup of tea, but I still think it's a nice looking, you know, three hand date watch. What do you reckon? It's very, very blingy. It's I a like great it's, watch. Uh, what is it? 45 millimeters. It's, I can't believe honestly how heavy it is. It's, it's a thick watch. People have talked about how heavy it is. I was really shocked at exactly how heavy it was. You really know what's what, there. I mean, what made you buy a Breitling? Can I ask you that? You know, I just, you know, I wanted to try something new. I wanted to, um, you know, I have a couple Rolex. I have, uh, you know, a couple Omega, um, a whole bunch of shitters um, that I bought, you know, prior to finding your channel and uh, you know, listening to everybody on the boards. But, you know, I just wanted something new, you know, and I had the, um, uh, what is it, the, the tag Batman. Yeah. Clive, you know, Clive's got a Breitling, don't you, Clive? No, I do not. You had the Cle Navitine. Callisto. The Callisto. No, Clive's got two Breitlings, thank you very much. Ah, okay. Don't you have a Navi timer, Clive? 1960 black dial. Put it up again. We couldn't see it. Wow. Yeah, that's awesome. I was going to pin it on, so that way we could all be wearing Breitlings. Uh, okay, that's so cool. Here's a topic. I don't know if it's been addressed yet. I don't think I've seen a video on it. What do you think of the new Navi Timer? I think the Navi Timer 8, I think they call it. Have you seen that? I have not. So it uses the B01 movement, doesn't it? They uh, There's a brand new... Navi timer is coming out. It's supposed to be causing a whole bunch of ruckus around, huh. but uh, everybody's kind of up in arms about it. A big Why are they up in arms about it? They just they don't like the the styling of it. It's it looks completely different. Mine does not have a Breitling movement. Mine has a Venus movement. Okay. Oh, all right. Yeah, so look, look up the new look up look up the new Navi timer. I think it's called the Navi timer eight. Yeah, I'm just having a look okay. now. Um, All right. It's, I'm having trouble finding this thing. It's it's it's. Um, yep. Give me one second. I'll be right back. Sorry. Okay. Well, let's put the Breitling Navi timer eight on the I'm list. Doing my, so. I'm doing my arch impression. I'll be right back. <laughs> no, 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 no. So I'll be back in just a tick. And then you go off and take a dump for like 45 minutes. He's got a dog. No, that should be that should be crows, not dogs. No, he you're you're yeah, he's failing. All right. Mm, okay. Clivey. Clivey, Clivey. Um Okay, introducing the Breitling Nova Timer 8. Day and date. Mm -hmm. Let's pull it up, shall we? On yep, yep. Podunky. Let's see what's all about the place, cards. the place where you could buy a twenty five hundred dollar Bulova. Quick take: Yesterday, we introduced a new Breitling chronograph from the company's just launched Navitimer Eight line. 
We told you that there would be additional models coming to the Navi Time, right? And today we can confirm that there are a handful of new pieces. Uh, I'm getting, okay. Isn't the Navi Time supposed to be a chronograph? What the hell is this? Yeah, um, huh. That's a Navi Timer? Um, oh, 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 oh. Ooh, it the uses movement. an ETA. Ooh, that's nasty. Duh. Yeah, see, what do you think? Oh, that's that's using an ETA well, movement. Okay, well, the thing is, though. All right. This is what happens when well, investment bankers buy the brand. Yeah. So what Jeez. do you think, Art? Tell me what you think. What's, what do you think? Tell me about it. Well, like again, I, then again, my um, Breitling's have used like generic movements before in the past. So Look, I, mine. I think it's terrible. I don't know what the fuck these guys are thinking. Are they out of their fucking mind? The B01 is the one you want. What the fuck is this garbage with no chronograph? The Navi Timer is a chronograph. I know, I know. I don't so, get this shit. I mean, I mean, so, that's. So tell me what you think, Clive. Clive, what do you think? Tell me what you it's think. It's fucking madness. It's fucking madness. That's what it is. It's fucking madness. I, I, I don't know what to say. Can I put a positive spin on it? It's fucking madness. Tell me how you really feel. It's fucking nuts. This is fucking... They're out of their fucking mind. Yeah, I know. I can't, How did you not know about this? Sorry. Dude, how did, how did he not know about this? I'm sorry, was that, was that a serious question? <laughs> maybe I figured he'd know about this I've gone through a bad week okay and by a week he means since like 2016 yeah, I've, I've, had, I've had some personal issues okay my life is falling apart okay my life yeah, has gone to uh, shit okay I tell you now everything's gone bad okay I got no money we I got no money. For, Everything's gone time. bad, okay? I mean, look, look, that's the new Navi Timer 8. Look, I don't think it looks... I don't understand why they've given it the Navi Timer nameplate. I, I don't understand I that. I think it's a. It's, it's not because a bad-looking watch. It's just not a It's not a bad-looking watch, but it's not a Navi Timer. I mean, Navi Timer... Like, it's the reason why Tudor wants to put everything into the Black Bay line because they know that the Black Bay Black Bay line is the only it's thing that sells. Yeah, so that way, if they call everything an Avatimer, um, Tan Still and Surrey says, "Add Clive Minotaur Wrangler super chat." Did I miss a super chat? Oh, here we go. Okay, yeah, I did. I did. See, that's what yeah. happens when Clive actually tries to do some work. Okay, Arch. Who snorts more of the following? Fat Rico, a line of gelatin off a Thai tranny's treasure trail, or oh. AC3 sniffing everything in a new watch box purchase? Uh, a th AC3 sniffing everything, including watch box purchase. Okay. I love Your the cycle, smell of watch you boxes. Just, you just have, a, you have a, a brand new Breitling box. Do you want to do another AC3 impersonation? Retail! Retail. <laughs> Thank you. Was that pretty good? Did that work? That wasn't bad. That wasn't that bad. That wasn't bad. It was relatively restrained for AC three. Yeah. I oh. Think I um, no. Can I return it? Can I return it if I've sniffed it? Yes. 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 As long as yeah, you haven't as, exhaled violently on it. By the way, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, last time I was doing with like a Star Wars theme with my little. Uh, Live chat with uh, Archie last night. I didn't see that. Han Dane, Han Danes. I was trying. You know, I say, well, I'm talking with my friends. And I try to protect their anonymity, so let's just call him Han Danes. You know, Very and then it became Han, Han, da Han Danes, a Star Wars story. But you know, actually, you know, what my uh, Star Wars name for him is. Who's that? Or what's that? AC three PO'd. Oh. I like it. That's boom, mic drop. Yeah, I like it. It works. I thanks actually. Jesus, I mean, yeah, I should be in marketing. I need to leave the legal profession and just get a job in marketing. 
You could do it. You could do oh, it. I probably could. Literally, yeah. Um, so what's he doing I'm now? The videos, by the way, Clive. I'm liking the videos, by the way. Keep it up. Oh, thanks. No, it's just questions. So, yep, you just know, questions. I hate to... exactly. He, he's, don't have answers, he's, just questions. Yeah, because yeah, because I you only an expert can give the answers. I just have nothing but questions. I think he's gonna hate the next one. Oh god, is he going to hate the next one? Who's this? Oh, boy. Nothing, nothing. Go back to sleep. Okay, thank you. Anyway, we're yeah, just talking talk about to... we're just talking about buckets of chicken. Right, right. Ah, uh, chicken, yes, thank Combo you. Combo meal deals. Not yeah. Shitlings on time. Simply the best. Simply the fist. <laughs> yeah, I do. Paul, <laughs> where's, oh, where's the bucket at? I got the bucket. I haven't got any pants on. Do you want me to stand up and get the bucket or not? <laughs> yeah, yes. yeah. Go ahead. Yes. Go ahead. Hey, say, go ahead. Chat, how many? Uh, well, how much is it going to take for Arsh to stand up to go get the bucket? I've got swimmers yeah. on. I got swimmers on because I'm going swimming after this. In February, oh right, okay. Super Chad, Super Chad, all three of you. What is the most iconic Seiko diver? The sixty-two MAS, the Apocalypse Now, the Seiko Turtle, or the Seiko Sumo? None I can't like the They're Seikos. I got the bucket. It's a meal deal combo. Combo deal, fuckers! It's a combo well, I... deal. Combo okay. deal. Archie, combo what is the most deal? Chicken burger. Okay, Archie. Okay, so Don, you're at your response is who fucking cares? They're all Seikos, right? Ooh, yes. is Don coming back on? I mean, I'm sorry, Durr. Durr. Oh, sorry. Ooh, you just called me Don. Oh. God. No, no, actually, no, no, actually, no. I did not because I no. Don actually oh, has a grand hurt. Don has a grand Seiko, so obviously not. That was just a slip of the tongue. Oh. So okay, so Durr. Durr and Don, come on. I mean, that's you know. Oh, I guess I would call you Sir Difel. Anyway, so Archie, what is the most iconic Seiko diver? The 62 MAS, the Apocalypse Now 6105-8119, the Seiko Turtle, or the Seiko Sumo? I think you'd like the Seiko Sumo. Uh, I hate Seikos. You know that? I only promote Seikos to stop people stealing better the watches. Stuff. The good stuff, you know? Paulie, you're not seriously thinking about getting a Seiko, Grand Seiko, are you? The rating. Let's be honest. Now. Let's be honest. You'd want to get a Grand Seiko to appeal to the Grand Seiko crowd. Yeah, that's right. You don't want a Grand Seiko, do you? No. You know. Come on. You know. Actually, I don't know. What if I, what Come if on, I sent Paulie, you? Tell us the truth. Okay, Paul. Come what on. if I sent you? What if I sent you my navigator timer and my pogue and let you do reviews on them? You wouldn't have to buy them. They'd have you'd have them in your hands. It has to be. A grand, do... It's not like it's like buying a, a, a Lexus. Is is that a, is that still a luxury car or not? A Lexus, Al? Yes, it. Yes, yes, it is. I don't know what to say. Am I going to buy one? Look, I need the ratings, dear. I know, but see, look, you don't want. You don't want to sell out though, because if you're doing it just for the ratings, you don't. You're no, but, okay, no, I, no, I, I will join battle, gentlemen. I'm sorry, but, but you know, having had a couple, well, actually, I guess I've got three Seikos now because I forgot about the. It's all they're all vintage. They're all you know basically Seiko icons, and they're not, and they're actually pretty damn decent little watches. Let's be honest, um, and. And Seiko makes a good honest watch. They don't pull this Swiss marketing country just the tip bullshit that the Swiss do. I mean, you can I can almost understand people basically wanting to give Switzerland the finger and just go Seiko. Yeah. I mean, I will I will not disagree with you, Clive. I mean, Seiko does make a good product. It's just that it's a good it's a good good, honest, unpretentious little pro product. So you can't, I mean. Good evening, Archie. ACAP 111. Durr and Clive. This is my favorite watch channel with the best guests. 214270 or 11610 LN. Now, the 214270, is that like the new Explorer 2? Yes, that's Explorer 1. 214270, that's Explorer 2. That's Explorer 1. Explorer 1. 
explore the 39 mil, the 39, 39 mil. mil with the um with the bigger hands now now with bigger hands now what's yeah, the I, LM? I like, I like the yeah. uh, explorer regular explorer yeah. one. 39 mm that's a good size it's a nice yeah, it's a good it's a, a perfect size now 11610 ln what's ln uh, that's a, obviously a ceramic seco date no that's a uh, that's a sub isn't it sub it's a sub I just, I mean, Seiko sub, yes. But I'm trying to, oh, uh, LN is, okay. So it's just, yeah. It's just the standard sub. That's all it is. Yeah. Um, I don't think is you that, can that's go wrong. Sub no, date? no, that's a sub date. Sub date, steel. The sub date, right. Ceramic. The black one. The black, it's black. It's black. No, not right. a Hulk. It's right. a black one. I mean, they're both great choices, but if you come down to one or the other, I'd say you have to go with the with the subby. Yeah, you have to go with the uh, subby. I wouldn't, say, I wouldn't say necessarily. I mean, to be honest, sometimes more is less, or less is more, or more is less. Anyway, sometimes less is more. You you know, everyone will have a Submariner, but for if you like the the Explorer 1, it's just a they're good, great. honest... It depends just a, on your budget. I, I think if I had a choice, if someone said to me, hey, Arch, you can have... A Explorer one or, or a sub date, I would grab the sub date. Yeah, I just think that's the best. You have that's going to be your best bargain right there. I mean, it's going it's to retain its value the most. It's and I mean, the Explorer one is a bit soft. It is a bit soft in the used market because it's basically it's just a it's a three hand watch for God's sake. You know what I mean? It's very simple, isn't it? Yeah, but the, uh, you got to love the Explorer dial, though, too. I'd I mean, prefer a Milgauss. I'd prefer a Milgauss to an Explorer 1. Okay. Would you prefer which, Milgauss? which Milgauss, Arch? Look, you'd, you'd have to go with the GV, wouldn't you? Yeah. Wouldn't you? I reckon the blue dial would be perfect. The, the blue dial is nice. Is, uh, that was the, the, uh, the green crystal? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty sharp. I will admit that. I don't like. I don't mind the black one with the orange uh, hand too much, but I like the green crystal a lot with the blue dial. I like that a lot. How about the white? That looks so. That matches your hair, Clive. The white dial matches your hair and your shirt. Hashtag white dial privilege. Hashtag. It's beautiful. It actually, actually looks fucking cool. There's nothing wrong with that watch at all. Hey, I yeah, love I the that. Explorer. To... Do that Explorer again, Mutter. That looks gorgeous. That's a fucking beautiful. You know they've gone up in price. They're now selling not much different to the uh, forty-two mil. I like um, it, guys. It's amazing. So, are you still angry about the Joma Shop fiasco, or what? What's going to happen here? Yeah, what are we going to say? I, I'm mad. Um, I did the unboxing and an unboxing on your channel. Um, Show it, show it to you. I mean, I like it. It's cool. I want to wear it right now. I want to wear it right now. Um, but, I, need uh, to... yeah. I don't know why they even sent it to you if they didn't have papers. Well, why did they know about it? And then they sent it to me anyway. You lost after weight. They after they guaranteed me that it was going to be there. Did you ask them, did, does it have papers or not? No, I, I asked them. I said, well, where's all the, the original paper that's supposed to come with the wash? Because you guaranteed me that. And they said... Well, we have a notation in our in our order saying that it's missing from your box. And they had asked, they said, did you call about this and previously mentioned that it was missing? And I said, no, I just got the watch on my front. Uh, the guy just de delivered it to my door now and I opened it. Maybe so, someone else has some returned it. That it was missing. They had some knowledge that it was missing, not from me. And they still Maybe someone else it. returned it. So, maybe someone else returned it. I don't know why they're not just honest. In the description, couldn't they just say no papers? Sorry, no papers with this watch. Right. And then you'd know what would happen, don't you? You'd say, oh, okay, you make a decision based on that. Right. Right. You know, I haven't worn this thing in ages. I might be time to wear it tomorrow. Yeah. Now, come on. Now, come on. Now, you know, I mean, I, I kind of like the plain black and the plain white over the GV. Because the the plain, the, just the, the non-GV ones, uh, you know, either white or black, it doesn't matter if you're black or white, as long as you're not Sing in America. It. Sing it. 
No, I cannot. No, I can do Elvis, and that's about it. But <laughs> if, um, but actually, I think it's more. I, I, I think the non-GV ones also kind of straddle. I mean, to me, that almost straddles sports, casual, and dress. I think it could almost get away with either one. I think it's. I think actually, when it comes to the, this and the black, are oh. probably some of the most well-balanced Rolexes out there. Yeah, I agree. Anyway, now actually, now there's like a there. Okay, guys, help me out here. Okay, now I've, I've got a commitment to buy uh, Rudy's Zenith um, Rose Gold Elite HW, and that is a gorgeous watch. God, I love that watch. Uh, Clive, would that be your second Zenith? That would be my third. Third? Okay, I don't think I've seen yeah. your second. Uh, I think you have. It's it's the uh, 1917. Okay. Is that the really big one? No. The really big one is the Defy El, Prim El Primero. The, okay. the 1917 is called the Zenith Signal Corps watch. It's actually the first American military wristwatch. It was made for the okay. Signal Corps of the American Expeditionary Force in World War I in France by Zenith. It was used by the first American military pilots. Oh, nice. Yeah, and it still runs. Nice. Still runs. That's awesome. Yeah, it really is, and it has a nice little... Anyway, people call it a trench watch, and it's really a trench watch unless it has something to cover the face of it to keep you know, shrapnel or you know, bullets or feces from hitting the dial. <laughs> Oh, okay. Five dollars super chat. Clive Min Minuscule Strangler. Stop getting shilled sh shitters from Rudolf Nobson. Tell that British stylophone player to sell you one of his Pateks. Um, I you know I'll be honest. I like the Zena. I mean, okay. And it's possible going on Joma shop. They've got some like rose gold El Primeros, solid rose gold for less than ten thousand. That's pretty awesome. And these are, oh, that's all. Yeah, no kidding. For like what? How? Like the third of a price of a Daytona, and you know, I think I think the El Primero has just as good of a, uh, you know, I think it has just as much of a history as the Daytona does. Da, yeah, da, I, da, I, da, da, I, da, in the nineteen I'm, I'm really Sorry? thinking about Daytona. I think it's overpriced for what you get. I think that's the problem I mean, right now. I mean, I think it's a great watch. I just, uh, I think right now the prices are a little too high, but I want the, the stainless steel Daytona with the white dial. I, seriously, seriously, go on. Well, oh, never mind. Shit, I just realized. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> hey, I'm back go on, again. Yeah. I'm back mm. again. Those fucking sons of bitches. You know what they do? They thought it's funny to ring my home fucking phone number whilst I'm on the show here. Because every why cunt. Them, why don't you tell him about Vietnam? Every fucking cunt, fucking. But I did. I gave him a serve. Don't worry about that. So I've unplugged oh. my home phone now. You cunts. They think it's funny to do that. I mean, fuck. I mean, what well, fuck? These people are just lunatics. You know that? Paul, you got to put all of those uh, telemarketer calls on. Now, it's on someone from my channel rang me up. They rang me on my home number. I mean, I'm in the middle of a live show. What's the point? Uh, I'm fucking. Ringing me on the oh, what's going on here? Hello, sorry, what were you saying? <laughs> they were <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Look, I'm just in a bad mood today. I've had a lot of troubles this week. I've had a lot of troubles this week. I've had personal problems. Um, everything's gone bad for me. Okay, I had a, had hashtag, a really AC, hashtag AC3PO'd. I um, I got to be honest with you. I had a fight with my dad. I had a fight with Herman. I realized I'm over the hump. I'm middle aged. Did you know that I'm middle aged? Yes. No, I thought you were just turning twenty one. Mm, everything. Oh, a, a day past twenty one. I'm middle aged, right? Everything's gone bad. Okay. It'll be all right. You can you hold this? on for a second? Yeah, we can hold on for a sec, Clivey. Hello, you got this, uh, this you got Michigan this. Emergency Services. Yeah, I think I need an order of a, emergency order of detention. Yeah, he's in Detroit. Yeah. 
You're watching too? Okay. Okay. Address? Yeah. No, he'll be the only one in on the block with the lights on because he's broadcasting. Okay, cool. Thanks. Um, by the way, if anyone asks, if you hear a knock on the door, please answer it immediately. Absolutely. Oh, uh, Mark Goldberg, Ray One. Hi, Paul, Paul and friends. I can't, sorry, I can't join you now. I'm in Chiang Rai with fairly limited internet, but the food. Lunch for yesterday, uh, lunch for yesterday. Oh, wow. Hey, uh, okay, I got to show this. Uh, okay. Huh. Desktop, screen share. Let me know if this is coming up. Is that showing up? No, just my face. Okay, now it's showing up. Hi, Pawn friends. Sorry, I can't join you now. And uh, it's gone. How about now? Nope. Uh, there's a Speedmaster. Okay, now it's back there again. Sorry, I can't join you now. I'm in the Chiang Rai with fairly limited internet, but the food lunch for yesterday was five dollars. All right. Lunch for four yesterday was five dollars. Lunch for okay, yeah. Writing so small, I can't even see it. Look at that. Oh wow! Hey, they have pad thai in Thailand. Did you guys know that? No idea. Wow. Hope all is well, Mark. Okay. So is that the second email? one. Send an email. Uh yeah. Oh wow, that must be limited internet service then. Exactly. All right. Well, I th guys, it's about 7.30. I think we've been on for an hour and a half. Um, okay. Okay, yeah, Dur. Dur, do you have show. anything you want to say? Do you have anything you want to say other than fuck Joma Shop? <laughs> no, other than that, I'm just uh, – that and uh, Michigan weather, that's about it. Are you saying fuck Michigan weather? Yeah, absolutely. Are you saying fuck, fuck Detroit? <laughs> yeah. Not quite, not quite. I can't. Uh, not I gotta quite. stick up for my hometown at least a little bit. All right, I understand. Now, did, were you born there? Yeah, born and raised. Okay. Understand that. Okay, Paul. Anything else you want to say? Hey, he was going to say to Don, "I love you, Don. I love you, Rudy. Come on, man. Come back on the show. We love you. Are we just going to try to create some controversy, Donnie? Come on. We love you. Come back on and um, just. I know how to. I know how to co create controversy. Yeah. <laughs> Five dollars, yeah, uh, two dollars yeah, super chat. Mark Fister. Yeah, uh, Mark wants you to say. Mark wants you to say your your uh, your trademark Speedmaster phrase. Oh, man on the fucking moon. <laughs> man on the fucking moon, Clive. Okay, Clive. Minute, Five dollars super chat. Clive Waldbor Strangler. You have Pinterest emails in your inbox. What the fuck does a senior citizen do on Pinterest? Honestly, I don't know how they got there. I don't. E I have no idea what Pinterest even is. Shit! If you've seen how many I bullshit emails I get every day, you'd isn't understand. It, isn't that like Instagram? You just post pictures or something like that on there? I th yeah, I think so. I I guess. I'm I'm not. I've got people say I've got people. Say, oh, you need to go on Instagram. It's like no. Uh uh. I draw the line at Facebook. No yeah. moss. No moss. Yeah, no that's, moss. That's it. That's no. it. Uh, you know, actually, my uh, my uh, I, my cousin's funeral earlier today. I'm sorry to hear that, by the way. Yeah, actually, it's kind of sad, but and and I think they're Nazarene, and I don't know if you know much about religion, but if Pentecostals if Pentecostals are the Nazis, the Nazarenes are like the SS. Oh wow, hardcore, huh? Yeah, the really hardcore ones. That yeah, they believe that this. They believe that the Assembly of God is a bunch of socialist lefties that are going to hell. That's how <laughs> hardcore they are. Wow. But actually, one of the things the preacher said is the preacher said is you know, and in, in, in heaven there's no texts or social media. And I'm sitting there in the meanwhile. In the in the meanwhile, I'm sitting there the whole time. Sitting there the whole time and it's like it's got to be it's got to be watch pictures by Han Danes. 
Yeah. And he's saying that. I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, heaven sounds pretty good. Yeah. Oh, uh, man, I'm fucking in. Okay. Anything else we want to say before we adjourn? Oh, oh. super chat. I'm glad, Clyde, um, I'm glad you upgraded from a rotary telephone and traded in your Model T. Maybe one day you'll join the 21st century on Instagram, Matt Locke. Fuck no. <laughs> Stay there with the goddamn millennials. Stay there. You can have them all. No. Actually, yeah, I, I'm old enough. I can remember. I can remember rotary telephones. And it's just like, and if anyone, if anyone had a lot of zeros in their phone number, you didn't want to call them. Because it just took so long. Clive, um, if you look at the, uh, there's a company called the Detroit Watch Company. They just put out an automatic watch, um, and it's actually in um, the shape of a rotary dial. Wow. I think Detroit might have been, I don't, I think Detroit might have been the first place to have rotary, rotary phones, maybe. Something like that. I don't know. I think it has some kind of significance. It looks pretty uh, neat, though. It's, it's, uh, oh, it's hey, pretty Jimmy Axter. Jenny, uh, David Garcia is selling, selling a hell of a speedy. Hey, Jenny, you want to come on the live stream with us? That uh, J Okay, Archie, if Jenny if Jenny Exter comes on the live stream, will that put you in a better mood? Sure, that would be great. Hey, Jenny, come on the live. Uh, see, okay, that was, okay. Mark Fister basically said that was shit. Do it right. Your, your trademark line concerning the speedy. This time with feeling, damn it. Uh, yeah, put some. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, I'll do that now, there, Clive. I'll do it. I'm just in a bat. Just, you know. Hornage, 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 hornage. Come on, Amiga Speedmaster, man on the fucking moon. That's pretty good. good. Okay. That was good. Got to hear one more time, though. One more time. One more time. Man on the fucking moon. That's better. I like that. That's a good ring to it. And so, so we've learned, man on the fucking moon. We've learned that uh, Gar David Garcia is selling a hell of a. He's got a hell of a good deal on a speedy. We've yes. learned that Joe shop sucks, and we've learned that Archie loves lady boys. And oh wait! We, we're gonna have we're you on the, next Archie? week. We'll have you on Archie, next week doing, where you can super chat, super chat. Yes, Archie, if you're doing fan favorites, please give us the value proposition of the Society for Thin Dress Watches. What were you pitching people to join? <laughs> what you were pitching people to join? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I don't know if I can do this, Clivey. Um, nope. It's really embarrassing there, you know. Um, it's it's this was so long ago, you know that, don't you? The Society for Thin Dress Watchers. It was a non-profit group dedicated to popularizing the wearing of thin thin watches. Um, that's what it was, okay. And uh, you know, we we were trying to we we were trying our best. Uh, we were trying our best to uh, promote, promote, promote the thin, the smaller, thinner dress watch, um, and it, it was a, yeah, it was a, it was a, it was how it went then, guys. This was how it went. This is Why don't you come up with a new character? Yeah. Why don't you come up with a new character for the channel? What's that? <laughs> What's that? Give me it. Yeah, give it. Give it, throw it make up. make the time to build great again. <laughs> oh, the government was shut down briefly. Yay, Jenny! Jenny, come on, come on and tell us. Uh, she was going to have to go to work. TGV wears cheap. Okay. Oh, by the way. Okay. You got a Jeremy Durr. You see it. You see him on there, right? Uh, yep. Suck a oh. horn. All right, I'm all gone. Um, 
it's all gone pear shaped. Guys, can you see me or am I banned? I think you're banned. Who's that? Yep. Yep, yep. possibly. It's all gone pear shaped. Yep. Double pear shaped. All right. So anyway, good. We got the quick sucker horn in. Awesome. Yep. No better way to close out a show than that. No, you can't ask for better, nicer. You know, actually, we might be expecting some uh, winter weather in. Some winter weather. So you mean like uh, we might get an eight thousand fleet. Sixty-five what? degrees, in Oklahoma. No, it's gonna it's gonna drop down. To, you know, keep in mind tomorrow sixty-five today. It's probably gonna be like fifteen tomorrow. <laughs> Michigan style. Oh, no, no, no. No, no. Michigan ain't got nothing in Oklahoma. My God. Or whether schizophrenic. But there, we're talking like we might actually get an eighth of an inch of freezing sleet. Do you realize what that will do to us? Yeah, no kidding. That's going to shut it down. It's going to shut That's going to shut everything right? down. Yeah. Everybody's staying people are going to be making, people might be putting on snow tires. There's going to be cannibalism. People make a run in grocery stores. It's going to be the walk. Church the attendance will be up. Yeah, yes. it's going to be bad. Shut it down. Get your grocery shopping done tonight. Uh, no, chat. hell no. It's too late. Super chat. Archie, how much do we need to super chat for you to play the piano theme song live with Rudolph Knobson to your classic 2012 videos? I like it. Oh, I can't play the piano. Oh, Jenny's coming on. Jenny's coming on. Jenny's coming on. Jenny's coming up. Okay. Screw that. Yeah, we're staying on. We're staying on. Jenny. Hey, gentlemen, so the, yeah. I'm going to be signing off. I got some stuff to okay. do. Okay. And uh, please come back when, after this mess is sorted out and tell us how it ends. I hope it has a happy ending. Absolutely. Hey, well, I know if anybody likes happy endings, you do, Arch, right? That's exactly it. So That's come right. back on and tell us how it goes. Thank you. Exactly. Anytime. Anytime. Uh, I'll join you anytime. Thank you. Okay. Send, send Jenny the link. Send in the clowns. Send Jenny the link. Oh, you want me send to? Yeah, well, Fish how am I going to send her the link? Do I have her email address? No. Okay. Captain, Z, yeah. Captain Zed is too well armed for me to try to communicate regularly by email. Uh, he's she, he's they're only one South state, one state South. So no. I can't remember her email address. How do I find this damn thing? Uh, I don't know. Did I send it to her? Well, they okay. Uh, Archie, yes. Jenny, go ahead and email him too. Yeah, email it to me, then I'll I'll do it. Come on. Yeah, actually, I think I'll just put on the. I think I will take a nice little change of pace. You're talking about thin dress watches. Technically, yes. it's a sports watch, but I figure I'll put on the Omega. I think it looks bigger than 34, if you ask me. Um, it's so cool. That bracelet is what makes that watch. No, I think the linen. No, I think the linen dial. I think the linen dial. I think the bracelet helps. Okay, Jenny just emailed you. I've got it. I'm just sending it to her now. Just, just. All right, I'm gonna get something to drink real quick. I'm drying. My mouth's drying out. Your mouth's drying out. Okay. Yeah. Okay, just hang on there. I'll get this. Thank you so much. You can do that. That's fine, guys. This is the Paul Pluter channel. We're in for a marathon session. We're getting our good friend Jenny is coming on to uh, say hello. We want to invite her on, so just be kind to her. No nasty comments for her, please, because, you know, she's a lady. We don't get many ladies on the show. It's, uh, it's, been, it's been a tough week for me. I've, I've, I've found it, I found it hard. I found it hard. Jenny, that link has been sent. That link is sent. Uh, interesting discussion with John Paul. He's a really nice guy. Love that guy. Th Thank you for the Christmas card. I'm sorry. I did open it, but I just didn't link it to you. I don't know why. I've just I've had some some personal issues. But um, yeah, it's 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 all it's all going good. It's all going good. Clive's just gone out for a drink. He's having a getting a a soft drink. Hello, Clive. You're back. You've had a beverage. What did you get? Dasani sparkling water. I've been trying to give up. I've been giving up the diet sodas. So I'm doing like carbonated flavor waters. Mm. 
you're looking thinner. I must say that, to be honest with you, you're looking very thin. I got to reboot that weight loss thing. How's how's your weight loss coming? Uh, let's let's talk about something positive today, okay? Okay. Uh, did you make any money today? No, no, it's been very. Um, I did not buy any watches. No, Jenny. You have to. Can you hear us? Can you say something? Yes, I'm here. Oh, how are you? Did you? So you took the day off work, or uh, the government took no, your day off work? No. So what happens is um, the guy shut down for the second time in two weeks. We our department does function. Part of it does when the government shuts down. But they aren't able to do it. Gonna have to work if it shut down. But I was assigned to be in court today, and so it was all night long. And saw that it shut down, and then I was like, "Do I go to work? Do I not go to work?" Anyway, they signed a solution, so we have a temporary budget. So I had to go to work. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Any any new watches lately? Um, no, I still, uh, the last watch I got, I don't know if you guys knew, was a, an IWC, uh, a small it's blue, blue meaning strap. That sounds nice. Now, um, now actually, uh, Han Danes, Han Danes, a Star Wars story, it's kind of been getting me onto Glass Shoot Original. No, they've, and of course he's saying, "Don't look at this one." And if you want to, if there's a way you want me to look at something, you tell the best way to get me to look at something is to tell me not to look at it. But actually, Glass Shoot Original has this like sin, almost like aviator looking one, almost like a, a German Uhr A or Uhr B. And I thought that's actually a nice looking little watch. It's probably not their most current production model, but what do you think about Glass Shoot Original? I haven't seen the particular watch that you're talking about, but um, they're nice. The glass shooter. It looks like, well, like I said, it looks a lot like the Sen, except it's glass shooter. So, yeah. Also, let me let me take care of some unblessed business real quick. Arch is okay. Arch, there is a super chat for you. You want to read it? Uh yeah. Let's give it a shot, Clivey. You give it a shot. Um. Okay, here we go. Arch is Clive a fucking moron? Why is he cracking open pussy? Mormon, Mormon, Mormon. not moron, oh, not God. moron. Okay. Mormon. Archie is Clive a fucking Mormon? Mormon. <laughs> Why is he cracking open pussy shit and not a bourbon or other manly drink? We only promote mainly manly drinks on the channel. Um, yeah, that's a personal thing. That's Clive. We, well, we don't discuss actually, that. Actually, every time someone asks me if I want to have a drink, I open my wallet up and say, I'm a little short on cash. You've got a couple of thousand on you for bail. Huh. <laughs> no one ever, no one ever pulls out two thousand dollars. I see. I see. Where, do you mean if you ended up with a DWI? What do you, what is your, or just arrested in general? Yeah. There have been so many times drinking, I should have been arrested. So many, 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 many times. So, so I'm not going to say that. So what is a manly drink, though? Scotch? Uh, I suppose so. I suppose that is a manly drink, you know? It's a manly, 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 manly drink. Bourbon and Coke uh, is a nice one. Mm. Of course, any sort of beer. Straight up bourbon. Don't put the coke in there. Mm. Well, you gotta you gotta stretch it out a little bit. Otherwise, it goes too quick. That's well. So, any anything else? You have your eye on anything? Now, no. is Captain I'm trying to. Uh... 
Yeah, Captain Zed's been going a little crazy. Okay, what's 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 a good captain getting? Oh, nothing right now, but you know, so he got um right around Christmas, he got a IWC big pilot. Okay. The titanium one. And then he got a um FP Jorn Elegant. Hmm. Nice. So uh, if like he you said, sell something. What did he sell, and who did he sell it to? I don't remember the de- details, but he so he got rid of his. I think he told you guys he got rid of his um, um, Rolex uh, GMT uh, Coke bezel, and he got rid of his Reverso. Oh, that's no good. We can't support that. I know, but he we he never wore it, so it doesn't matter. You got a hoard, possess, caress. Yeah, I love mine. Mine's not going no. anywhere. No, likewise. Oh, okay, Jenny. Which of the most following? Which of the following YouTube gurus are the most appealing to women? TGV, Fat Rico, AC3, Adricos, or Clive Minnow Store Jeep Wrangler? Is that a super chat? That's a super chat. Uh, so definitely not TGV. Um, did you say? Did you say Fat Rico? Fat Rico, AC3, Adricos, or Clive Meadows or Jeep Wrangler? <laughs> That's not that one's not bad. I have to admit. <laughs> Wait, 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 appealing to women in what way? It anyway, just says appealing anyway. Anyway, anyway. Well, I'm going to go with Archie. <laughs> hey, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, Jenny. All right. Make sure I didn't miss anything. That's cheering oh. me up there. Okay. S. David Garcia, $5. Archie, I just got a Panerai 241. What are your thoughts? I'm going to have to look it up because there's so many damn Panerai references. Yeah, Panerais. Look, I got to be honest with you. I don't know if I would be buying a Pam myself with the way the uh, the whole market is there. Pams are very, very terminal. Very, very terminal. Um, I can't... Okay, it's a, it's a Luminor collection. Mm, it's quite Power a style. Steel. I'm just yeah, it's... calling one up. Joma Shop's got it for seven six fifty. US, it's a lot of money. Now, on the other hand, there's one for thirty nine fifty five. Mm-hmm. He doesn't Raff- say what he paid, did does he? No. Interesting dial on it. You know, the dial's got that textured dial, doesn't it? You know. Huh. Let me zoom in. The sandwich dial. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love it. You love it? Huh. It's not bad. Yeah, it's that's awesome. actually not bad. It, yeah, the sandwich. I mean, okay, not the sandwich style. Okay, yeah, but but it's it like a it's like a waffle in a way. There's indentations. Oh, a I waffle dial. That. Yeah, a waffle dial. That's probably a better way to describe it. Like the AP. You know, I'm down with any, I'm down. Yeah, I'm down like, with anything involving waffles. Yeah, it's a bit like my IWC's got that textured dial. You know. Right. Um, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. It's a little bit, it's got a Cyclops. That's unusual for a Pam. Right. And you know, with Panerai's, the Cyclops are actually on the inside, on the yes. other underside of the glass. Yes. yes. So yes. it's kind of a, it's, it's, of course, yeah, it's okay. That might, that might be a kind of a, 40 millimeters. It's, it's a bit on the smaller. That explains what's probably a little bit uh, cheaper, but you know, I think that would be decent actually for a decent watch. I, I, I'm actually thinking about getting a Pam myself. I'm think, thinking about a submersible. Okay. Uh, Arch, stop. Tanzil, I'm sorry. Arch, stop spitting out shit. Pams are not terminal. They hold their value better than you hold subscribers. Cool. <laughs> if you nutbag Panerai, the Panerist, the Panaristi will sub. Oh, if you nut hug. If you uh... nut hug Panerai. Yeah. Now, Archie, why don't I send you want me to you want me to send you my Panerai, my Pam Zero, and let you do an extended review on it? 
I'm just worried about postage, Clive. I don't want it to be stolen. You know, you've got to be very careful because there are thieves around, Clive. We live in bad times. Well, you know, yeah, that's true. But on the other hand, uh, Uberoki's wife, Mrs. Uh, you know, Mrs. Uberoki, literally, she he sent me a watch before, and I swear to God, the package. I mean, it's just like I was telling him, Jr. Did you did your wife work? Does your wife work for a Mexican drug cartel? I I've seen cocaine. <laughs> I've seen cocaine packaged with with less care than this watch. There's like there's like wrapping tape. There's like 90 layers of wrapping tape on it. Like every mm. every conceivable correction. I mean, Crocodile Dundee couldn't even get to that freaking watch. Yes. Yes. Okay. I, th I just thought it offered. I, I just don't. I just I'm, yeah. I, if you win Australia, it'd be great. But we got customs duty. It's just just a disaster. I, I wouldn't do it, Clive. I would. I would. Um, I would. I would. Uh, I think I'd still. I think I'd be able to stop pilfering, though. Yes. I would write on the outside of the package in multiple eight pages: um, "Caution, AC3 memorabilia." There you go, Clive. So. Oh, Jenny. What Archie, do you, you think about? When what do you think about the United States, Archie? Ah, uh, look, probably not for it. A year or two. Tanzil, I'm sorry, five dollar super chat. I love how Archie thinks that he lives in Compton and some random fucking wallabies or koala bears will still climb spatera. <laughs> yeah, I, Jenny, I, I, what do you think about the mug? Oh, yeah, the pontiff. <laughs> no, 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 no. This, this is, is Clive. Clive's this mug. Is, this is oh, the cardinal mug. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. And the also. <laughs> right. Why is it really? It's not. <laughs> that's funny. <coughs> <laughs> it's kind of like the Chick fil A cows. Chick fil A cows? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. You know, I can see how that. you write everything with the PH instead of an F and you misspell. It reminds me of the Chick fil A cows. <laughs> Thanks. Those, <laughs> now, don't, you th don't you think if they have Chick Fil A, if they have Chick Fil A in Australia, do they Archie? Do they have Chick Fil A in Australia? No, no, we don't. We don't. We don't. Now, now, don't you think Archie would be a valid spokesperson for Chick Fil A in Australia? I don't Jenny? know. The horns. I don't know. They're so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. But see the whole lady boy thing. I they, the 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 Chick Fil A company wouldn't approve of Archie because they're so conservative and religious. They may not. Well, if they're so conservative and so religious, how would they know what ladies lady boys are? That's true. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, um, what do you think about? Um, I was actually thinking I might have had a chance at scoping out a cheap Panerai. I'm not a Panerai. What am I thinking of? Sorry, a cheap Patek is a complication. A I, I was thinking I might have there might have a chance to scope out a cheap Patek Philippe. Oh, oh. wow! Here we go. Never mind. Super chat. The old Jenny. one then, right? Yes, yellow gold. Uh, we'll come back. Uh, Jenny, when viewing wrist shots on Instagram, if a man has hairy arms, hair, if a man has hairy arms, would a date just make him more appealing, or would you prefer he wear a System Fifty One? I have. Um, yeah, I, I, I mean, what's wrong with hairy arms? How hairy are we talking? We're we talking like orangutan, or just like. You know, I'll buy that. I need. Okay, uh, five uh, Tanzil. I'm sorry. Please, please send another five dollars super chat to qualify your question properly. <laughs> this and is actually, 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 Tanzil, this is almost predicated. This is almost tantamount to getting legal advice. So I think, I think you should at least super chat fifty dollars because that would be, you know, like a fifth of an hour. I th don't you think that's fair? Yeah, I do. Thank you. Uh, so what are we talking about? Uh, 
We're I talking Panerai's. We're talking Panerai's. We we spoke about Panerai's. Um, oh, um, Clyde was saying that he might get a cheap uh, Patek. Yes, yes. Oh, yellow yes. gold. It's the yellow gold one. Is yellow Clyde gold out of fashion, Jenny? Tell us this. We, we've we heard rumors that yellow gold, one of Clive's friends has said yellow gold, oh, it's terminal. No one wants yellow gold. What's your take on that, Jenny? And to protect his anonymity, so we're going to call him Duty Robson. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, is that I think that comes and goes. And I actually think it's coming back and the rose gold is actually falling out. <laughs> I would agree with that because I'm in the process of getting a rose gold watch, so I could totally see that happening. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. it's falling out of uh, fashion, and I think yellow's coming back. But actually, my my local watch guy, uh, oh yeah, I didn't have a chance to say that. He said uh, he basically we were ta having a follow up discussion that long drive back from Tulsa with all the construction on the Oklahoma Turnpike. You bastards. But uh, he said, yeah, and he said, come to think of it, I think your online guys might be right that yellow gold is soft. He said, I think that had that been rose gold or white gold, that that Patek 5054J, 5054 would have sold by now. He thinks the fact that it's yellow gold right now is what's probably kept it from being sold for the asking price. Yeah, but mm. so if you get it, you'll be good because See, you think that people keep yeah, that, no. contrarian you basically buy and you hold you buy and you hold and you wait for it to come back into style well because everything everything is back into style mm -hmm. uh, is are, are, are you guys still is the the 60 do you see uh, younger people wearing like 60 styles clothing again jenny <laughs> Jenny. Things keep coming back. It's like, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I can now. Yeah. So, um, remember, I told you that I bought my daughter for her twenty-first birthday. I got her a little Rolex Datejust, and she wanted two tone. And to me, two tone is like, ugh, because mm. that we did that in the eighties. But to them now, it's like super cool. Cool. Mm. Well, the the. Uh, two tone is the horological equivalent of erectile dysfunction. <laughs> uh, that's just yeah. I have to admit, I just think that's hilarious. But uh, yeah, but and do you think you kind of so you think yellow gold might be coming back though too? I and, and to, oh, do. Well, the I think... Sorry. Sound cut out. You keep cutting out too. So. <laughs> Um, no, I do. I personally see people doing more yellow gold now and the, the, uh, the rose and red gold is fading away. But they'll I, come back eventually. They'll come great, back eventually. There's a great comment there. Should I buy a vintage Datejust or a Kodak Super 8 camera? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Jenny, five dollars super by, by Chan Zill. When you first stumbled onto the Archie Luxury Channel, were you shopping for Louis Vuitton goods? Did you know that Archie wrote a famous Louis Vuitton book? <laughs> no, I wasn't. My husband found Archie. Now, did you know that Archie's first name is actually Horatio? Horatio. <laughs> is it really? No, it's yeah, Horatio. It's not the end is <laughs> the end is the end is silent <laughs> in Australia, but here in America we pronounce the end. It's Hornatio. They looked at him. They looked at him and said, "Yep, he's going to have horns." <laughs> Son of a bitch. Now, um, do you see any of the sixties? Uh, it's it's kind of funny because it's almost like well, literally cognitive dissonance because. Like young people are walking around like like brightly colored paisley like mini dresses now. Is that happening in your neck of the woods or not? I can't say that I really noticed that. You know. Well, I have different. What? Oh, you well, I'm sure you noticed the mini dresses. <laughs> well, no, because because no, because it's almost like you see the mini dresses, and it's like, and it's just like there's part of your brain saying. 
holy shit, you're five years old again. <laughs> because oh, I could send you some outrageous, uh, my, my sisters would kill me if I sent you some old family photos. <laughs> yeah, Literally. we have those too. Oh, well, Texas, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Oklahoma is Texas north. Uh, traveling right now, Bing Tenye, can't watch live. Here's a few real dollars for your efforts. Cardinarial respectos, Bing. So anything, anything you want to, you've been keeping up with horology, anything that's really caught your attention or eh? Or you, are you pretty much in a level, are you in a good place where it's just like, I'm good? Are you? Yeah, you're asking me. Yes. Yeah, I'm in a I'm in a pretty good place. I'm I'm actually trying to w just wear all of my watches, and uh, um, and uh, if if Captain Zed had his way, I would sell a whole bunch and then get something else because I think he's addicted to the buying and selling and getting a new watch. But um, I how many I like how many do you watches. have now, Jenny? I have six. So my watch box is almost full. <laughs> How many was that? Six. Six. Okay. I got eight. I'm I'm hit. I'm, I want to aim for ten this year. I, I've, I've got five or six. You, Clive, you got five I, or six. Bullshit. Five or six, five or six pounds. Yes, I do. <laughs> I haven't weighed I actually... them specifically, but when I get them into one or two boxes, it feels pretty heavy. So I'd say five or six pounds. <laughs> I actually am trying to get Captain Zed to. We make 2018 a year of no watch buying. Oh I, no! I Why would you happen. do that? <laughs> Because Archie, so we only started collecting the luxury watches, I guess it's been three years now. And in three years, you wouldn't even believe the watches that have come and gone and the watches that we have. I mean, Zed has an AP and Rolex, so Kermit, and the FB Journe and a Vacheron Constant. I mean, that's... Okay, so that's Jenny, so... So if he quits buying watches, you would save a great deal of money, right? Yes. No, okay, now hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. You know that Tanzil and sorry, the at the end of every video, uh buying what you know, shining on time, simply the best. Mm-hmm. And Captain Zed watches A C three, right? Yes. What if you paid Archie to say for an entire year? Captain Zed, no more watch buying in 2018. The Pontiff forbids it. <laughs> I can have it on the fridge. <laughs> you can have it on the fridge or have it to where, have it where he fits it on every video for a year for the rest of 2018. <laughs> think, I mean, think how much money you'd save, right? <laughs> right. I don't think just, it would work, just, though. I think it would only be like something to remind him that he hasn't bought watches and he needs to buy more. Well, no, I think so. I mean, I think so. I mean, I think, I think it would kind of embarrass him into not buying anymore. No. If it's at the end so. of every video, every video. <laughs> that would be and funny though. It would be, it would be funny. And come on. I mean, that would be for everyone for a year. Or we could start a countdown and uh, or rather uh, and let's see how many days can pass before Zed buys a watch. A challenge. Okay, so you have to you have to do a bet with them. Right? Uh-huh. Okay, then pay Archie at the end of our video for say three months to say, Captain Zed, you want to buy a new watch. Look at this. Look at this one. <laughs> yeah. No, you'd have to make the bet with Captain Zed. You'd have to make the bet with Captain Zed uh, enough to to cover the cost, of course, of paying Archie for the videos. <laughs> but, but you know, I think 
or I think if you I think if you paid him to come up with some ex, something with extra creativity, that would actually you think you know, you'd probably know him better than anything else. If you were to come up with him to do a specialized message to Captain Z at the ed, edge of I mean at the end of every video or or the beginning of every video or the middle of you know how he is, you know he will be told that as you know multiple times a day, especially if he does both channels. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Well, it, it's true. I mean, it, it, as Capone said, some things we laugh about because they're funny, some because they're true. But think think how much money that could uh, the well placed monthly ad or yearly ad with AC three would prove could save. I'll be back in a you, minute, Clivey. You cover me, you won't could, you? You could probably you could probably redo the kitchen with the money that you'd save, right? <laughs> well, so redo the kitchen. Him, we did the re we did the kitchen uh, last year, so living room. We have bathrooms to do. Bathrooms, okay. There's your bathroom fund <laughs> right there. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> so where is where is Ed? By the way, is he going to come on and say he's hi probably, to us, or? I I think he's probably watching because he's he told me you guys were on and that's when I came on, but he had to go pick up my daughter from a field trip and then uh, an errand, so. Okay. He's probably watching somewhere. Well, I figured he. I probably. I figured he would be. So, don't worry. Um, yeah, I'm sure he's heard all of this. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's true. But on the other hand, well, yeah, you could literally probably flip Archie fifty bucks, and he'd do it every day for a month, multiple times. I mean, you know, he put his usual high standards and excellence into it. <laughs> uh, and and here's the important part. And then and then and then we finally get to what hearing about the goddamn Tansil shuttling on time ads for for a month. I mean, seriously, that would be wouldn't that be itself be? <laughs> but so, so it's a double so benefit. Clyde, Clyde, you have to have another title for yourself. It is Why? the the pimp. <laughs> no, actually, I'm I'm just you know it's just. Sometimes the stuff come up with the stuff, and it's just like Jesus Christ. Why am I not in marketing? I need to be in marketing. <laughs> yeah, it probably be a lot more fun than being a lawyer. Yeah, true. But you know, everyone, everyone wants some court, and I'll sing, and I kind of have like what I call a George Bush moment. Da 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 da. Hey, that was pretty good. <laughs> Soften this, yeah. <laughs> and the judge said, every time you do that, I know you're doing <laughs> uh, So it's probably a little bit different from immigration law, huh? Yeah. Well. Well, and, and basically, basically being the equivalent of prosecutor, you guys pretty much have to play it by the book. Yes, we definitely do. Yeah. So never can I ever misrepresent anything intentionally or, you know, but I don't, you know, the law's on my side for the most oh, yeah. part and mm -hmm. I don't have burdens in my part because once I get my charge um, sustained on my, my charging document, I just sit there and watch. So. Well, I was, I was actually on this side. I was putting someone out to a charge of uh, larceny of merchandise. So we're, oh, okay. Fat, okay. $10 super chat. Did Fat Rico get pegged and eat his own semen while in bangers? Betcha beta broke boy. How many gerbils did he got in his anus? I'm not going to answer that question. I'm not going to, I'm not going to go near that one. So terrible. I'll try to keep this up until uh, Archie comes back. So anyway, so as, as, so it's kind of as low as it was a great play. It was fair. It was a fair one is know the prosecutor for a while, know the judge forever. Judge used, was actually one of the few defense guys that actually got appointed to the bar as a special judge. And we're going, just going through the facts of the case. I said, judge in all fairness, the side did say all merchandise must go. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah. <he> was, <laughs> Yeah, even the prosecutor. Yeah, even the prosecutor was laughing. At that 
So do you find yourself mostly just trying to get the best deal or do you ever go to trial? Yeah, you do, you do but you you go to trial when one side over miss uh doesn't get the facts right or um misappraises the fa the facts or the strength of the evidence. And a large part of it is witness chicken, of course, with domestic violence, because, you know, you know, the other you know, half, you know, three quarters of the time they're, they're going to get subpoenaed and they're not going to show up and testify. So you just set it for prelim. And Jazz, so, like to so but when you still move forward or do you usually have a problem of not having enough evidence when the witness doesn't come to testify? Now, the witness doesn't come to testify. You know, you have the right to confront the witnesses against you at a preliminary hearing in Oklahoma. So no witness, no case. Yeah. So, you know, we call it, we, we basically call it witness chicken. <laughs> so you just wait to see if they show up. Uh, pretty much. But, you know, domestic violence, uh, it's, it's so foobar anyway. I mean... It, even the prosecution, they're like, oh, God, here we go again. And we're all of us the same way. Because, you know, it's what happens is three, three broad classifications, domestic violence. One, one or both parties involved has an alcohol or drug problem. Two, one or both pr parties involved has a anger or impulse control problem. Three, bipolar victim. Uh -huh. Bipolar. And in true M. Night Shyamalan fashion, number three is actually number one. I swear to God. No, every, really? Yeah, all bipolar. I, I mean, literally. And I tell new prosecutors this, and they do, and after a couple of years, they said, yeah you, yeah, you were totally right on that one. Uh, I've seen plenty of legitimate domestic violence, but the ones who are legitimately victims of domestic violence don't really bring the cases because they're literally off the corner wetting themselves. I mean, truly terrified. Yeah. That's the sad part. I see domestic violence victims in divorce court all the time, rarely on the, <laughs> rarely on the criminal side. Okay. Uh, two, uh, two super chats, Archie. Yes. Number yes, one, yes. turbo B one eight. We'll just call him turbo. Screw it. Did fat Rico get pegged and eat his own semen while in bangers? Beta broke boy. How many gerbils did he get? Did he got in his anus? Oh, these questions are terrible. <laughs> Look, I, I just, I just met the guy there. We went out to dinner. That was it. I, 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 I didn't live with the guy. I didn't live with the guy. He just, um, we just met. He bought. He actually, he bought me this shirt. This shirt I'm wearing. This beautiful. I love pink. This beautiful pink shirt. He bought me the pink shirt. He bought me about half a dozen shirts. So, hey. And a follow-up question. And a follow-up question by Turbo. We'll just call him Turbo. Is TGV a fraud cuckold, self-hating, self-sucking psychopath, or gerbil-loving beta? Last I heard, his panties were an absolute wreck. He farted and cum went everywhere. Suck on my Ed Brown or Wilson combat cuck. Look, I think these questions here are getting a bit weird. I mean, I mean... With the do you, you want know, me to repeat the question? No, I think to be who's yeah. asking this question? Turbo. Turbo think, B1. You know, this HC. is the sort of Turbo like asking 15 the, years old. These sort of questions is what serial killers would ask, you know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I mean I want to desexualize, okay? I don't like the these sexualized questions which are just I don't understand this stuff. I really don't understand it. Why, why do they have to sexualize everything? Speaking of that, where's Fluffy Kitten? <laughs> oh, good point. Yeah. Not, he's, my, he's my favorite Asian. Isn't it? Is he yours too? <laughs> sure. <laughs> well, I, I do. Okay. Admittedly, do I know that many Gaysians? No. So by de be default, he's really my favorite. <laughs> and I don't know if Gage, I don't know if that term has been invented before, but I'm taking credit for it. I think it works. 
Yeah, it really does. I, I like the I like the way it rolls off the tongue as well. It's just it's just a great <laughs> word. Jenny, can I ask you a question? Yes. Jenny, I got some mental problems at the moment, right? Okay. Should I keep my oh. paddock and my reverso and my breguet? Super so chat. Super chat okay. by Turbo. Yes. Okay, then. TGV, number one. Fat Rico, number one. Okay. He did desexualize it, I'd like to add. Okay. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, look, I think realistically the competitors help my channel. If there's more watch people who are watching stuff, there's going to be more people watching my stuff. So, I Dr. Gotta Bruce, be... $2 super chat. Thank Back you. to watches. Back, Back to, to watches. watches. Man on the Moon or Tudor Black Bay and why? Also, would you prefer a gerbil or a larger rodent to be... Hey... I gotta say, to be honest with you, that's a very good question. The Tudor, gerbil or the large animal, or the, the first Tudor, one? Black Bay, or the um, Brightling? Because the answer is, you know, they're both using the same movement. I, I honestly. Man on the Moon or Tudor Black Bay, and why? Oh, Man on the Moon or Tudor Black Bay? Definitely Tudor Black Bay, because newbies don't understand about chronographs they don't understand about manual wine they don't understand about waterproofing they think because they've spent so much money they're all waterproof so get the newbies into the tutor but jenny do you think you could have the, the fact that a certain luxury channel repeatedly described the man on the moon as a as a luxury dive watch that could be that could, that could be a slip of the tongue there jenny should i sell some of my lessers and get a lang a or should i keep the steel stunners what would you do consolidate so, so you said keep paddock keep your um reverso keep my breguet eh? reverso uh-huh so i could and get rid of the man on the moon get rid of the explorer 2 get rid of the iwc the um i could get rid of the brightling the tudor anything that needs to be done to get a lang a1 yes do it <laughs> do it or don't do it? I say do it. You reckon? Yeah. Now, what about the glass shooter version of the Lange one? Uh, no, 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 no. Not good enough. Uh, good enough. No. Uh, I see. You reckon do it? Tell you what, Captain Zed would do it <laughs> in a heartbeat. I see. What would he do? Uh, consolidate get rid of the lesser ones and get a um now a does lane. he does he when he consolidates when he moves pieces does he trade them into jewelers or does he sell them privately he's done both i mean sometimes he if he loses money do you have a go at him do i what if he loses money on a deal do you have a go on at him i don't i to be honest with you, we kind of keep our money separate. He does with his money, I do with mine. Dave Ramsey and, says I mean, that's not a good could... idea. I know, but the, the the thing is that I think because both of us, you know, we're both have previous marriages, and both of us had spouses that abused us financially, <sighs> it's just more comfortable for us this way. Okay, Archie. Whatever works for you, you've got to do. Archie, quick question. You yeah. really like Jenny, right? Sorry, like what? You really like Jenny, right? Oh, Jenny, yes, Jenny, 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 yes. Jenny, yes, I said Jenny. Now, how much would you charge her to do a special insert at the end of every one of your ads for the rest of the year, King, saying, Captain Zed, buy no more watches, you have enough? <laughs> I don't think she should do that because you cannot – you cannot control another person's free will to do that, Clive. That's very wrong. Can't. You know. But you're the pun. Would, it, but on the other hand, funny. It, just it, to be funny. It, it, it uh, yeah, yeah, I'll do it for you. I'll, I'll, I'll put it in if you want to. Okay. We'll give it a try. We'll put a try. I'll then have to pay anything for Jenny. She's cool. Aww. Wow. Wow. It's called, it's called communism, Clive. <laughs> I'll whack it in a video, okay? 
I'll whack it in a few there. Okay? See, he was he was trying to tip you, Archie, and that I know, I know, I know. Well, <laughs> I, I mean, I'm in a very bad head stat space at the moment, but Jenny's good. We like to bring her on occasionally. Yeah, we we just 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 do it for her. She's okay. She's cool. She's cool. She's very cool. We'll whack it in there. I'll whack it in the next vids I do, Clivey. I'll right. put it in a few. Um, oh. Yes. I was going to say to you, Clivey. Um, yeah, sorry I was a bit nasty to your friends, uh, the Dobson guy and the, the Don ha What's his name? You mean Robson. Robson, you mean, yeah. You mean Duty Robson and Look, Han I'm just Bain. in a bad mood. I've, I've had a few problems, but I'm Han starting, I'm starting to be story. a bit be calmer now so everything's cool enjoy your watches guys archie should clive buy my speedy for 2300 or the patek for seven thousand five dollar super chat by david garcia well david if you're spending money on super chats it doesn't matter how much you're going to just raise <laughs> the amount that you want from the speedy so nice try the speedy is a good value at that price yeah, it really is, is. It, it really, it really is. is and, and the I just have to the paddock he wants is clive's going to have to have it's it's going to have to be a five digit number the offer's got to be a five digit so it's going to hurt but a speedy speedy everyone needs a speedy everyone needs a speedy it's just a cool watch to have and um I got to be honest with you, Jenny. I don't know. I don't know if I can bring myself to actually sell some of my steel stunners off to fund a Lange. It's just such a hassle dealing with people. Or the Glassute Moon Phase date? Uh, I'm not a big fan of Glasshoot. It's sort of for people who can't afford a Lange, isn't it? You mean you? You mean like you? <laughs> yeah, that sounds. That's exactly he right. Can though, yes. if he sells off his watches. Well, and like you said, so really, what's really the difference between what's really the difference between Glassute and Lange anyway? I mean, I understand they're both well-made German watches. Uh, I think Lange. I've never really wanted a Glasshoot. Never really wanted one. I've never wanted one. I mean, it, it, it's like it's just I never wanted one, Clive. It just mm. doesn't appeal to me. Years ago, I had a glass hoot clock. You had a glass hoot what? A clock, an original. Oh, glass -hoot, oh glass -hoot okay, clock. sorry. A clock. Um. Well, cool. You think we want to start wrapping it up, guys? We'll I mean, wrap I it up. See. Thank you, guys, for coming on. We'll wrap it up, Clive. This has been a marathon. Hey, before I go. Uh, I just wanted to acknowledge Clyde's vacuum cleaner because I didn't say anything about it. <laughs> Hello, friend. <laughs> it's a melee. It's a beautiful vacuum. Actually, the Roomba does most of the heavy lifting anyway. I love the I love the Roomba. I love it. It's just like I feel like I'm George Jetson. I'm sitting here, I'm watching a TV that is the size of a movie theater in 1950, and a robot is vacuuming my floor. Wow. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm actually going to be it's making just, a video today on the Archie Luxury channel, sacrifices I've, I've made to afford expensive luxury wristwatches. Okay. Okay. So that's going to be screening sometime today. I'm going to upload that video. Sacrifices. All right. The Carpet oh, uh, Beatles may make a show. They may they may make an appearance. Ten dollars super chat. <laughs> Art. Yes. Art. Okay. Rolex is boring. Ten dollars super chat. Ten dollars yes, Australian. Ten dollars. Thank you. Ten dollars Australian. Yes. Aren't you bored with Rolex? So much better out there. JLC. Zenith. JP. Go. Who's Dio? I don't, uh, know. I don't know. Blanc pain are the same price, secondhand or discounted new, and you won't lose money since the depreciation is already hit. Now, okay, now, and I was actually talking about that with Han Danes, a Star yes. Wars story, 
and they actually had a really great rose gold uh, Zenith El Primero. I think they had that liter. Uh, well, I hate to say Joma Shab after after Der Stifle got stifled, but uh, I think they'll fix maybe, it up. I think they'll fix it up. They'll fix it up. Okay, but yeah. So guys, pay attention when you buy online. Don't get don't get stifled. We need to, it's like Munson. I think we can do that. But anyway, but what do you think about the El Primero uh, in rose gold? Now, don't you think that'd be a dandy little watch or not for the I've money? I've actually seen one. They are gorgeous. Gorgeous. Anything. They're just beautiful. Jenny, what do you think? What do you think about, well, an El Primero and, uh, and solid yellow gold? I don't know. To be honest with you, I can't. I'm not able to see the, uh, the El Primero. Okay. Well, it's amazing. I, I think I wouldn't buy one new. I'd buy one gray market or second hand. But yeah. if you can find a dot, if you can find it, the only th trouble with Zenith is that the skeletonized dials. It's just like God, give it up, guys, give it up. I I Don't agree with you, Clive. Give it up. It didn't work. It didn't no, work. It it's didn't... like a bad wig. Don't, just you got to stop. It. They're, they're coming out with new models, and they're actually going back to the past. Um, they've got one. You know, like the three doll that you like, the three color. Uh, they've got the Tipo has almost gone back to World War II, almost just vintage black dial. It, it almost looks like a cross between the Long Jeans Brown, uh, sorry, the Long Jeans Big Eye and the um, black and white of the Speedmaster. Has some El Primo, look at this, El Primo chronographs in solid gold. Is, is, isn't that just beautiful or? Oh yeah, that is nice. Now, now, so would you either get a, a Speedmaster, just a, spe a still Speedmaster, or for one third the money, get like a, a Zenith with an equally fine uh, chronograph movement for like a third the price in Press's Mill? That's with that open heart, Clive. You like yeah. the open heart? You hate? No, it. I do not like the open heart. No, Sorry. no. Quit getting funky. Just come up with the in, in the open heart. It interferes with. I mean. It distracts. It distracts from the registers. The whole point of a chronograph is to be able to look down and clearly and easily read the registers. Anything that detracts from that detracts from the essence of the watch. And so, I mean, like I said, in some of these, I actually, and some of them, they're coming up with the flight dials or the cream dials instead of going back to the '60s with like the Daytona, the original Daytona and the original Hoyer Carrera movements or in pandas and reverse pandas, I almost like, I almost think uh, going back further, like to the thirties and forties. Because Go for oh, it. No. pull that trigger, Clivey, pull that trigger. Are you buying the Zenith Elite? You're going to buy the Zenith Elite? Hand wound in rose gold. You're buying Actually, that or not? Uh, yeah, I am. I'm, I, hopefully, I think... I'm hopefully going to meet Rudy in uh, Nashville. Okay. Nashville, Tennessee. No, Nashville, Nevada. Yes, Nashville, Tennessee. <laughs> okay, let's wrap this baby up. Thank you, guys. You on tomorrow? You on tomorrow, Clivey? Possibly. We'll see. Jenny, you okay. want to join us again or not? Anytime Jenny Captain wants to come on, you, you're welcome on, Jenny. You just come. You, you, you cheer me up a lot. So. Um, okay, I'm glad, Archie. Thank you so Can much. Did I tell you my Star Wars name for Archie? No, what's that? No, Jenny, did I tell you my Star Wars name for Archie? No, what is it? AC3PO'd. <laughs> That's funny. He looks it like is, a right Princess Leia boy. Okay, guys, we got to shoot off. Thank you for being here. Take care. See Thank you, you next time. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Super chat, super chat. How much for the horned one to sing Chaka Khan's I'm Every Woman while licking his watch? Mm. <laughs> 200, uh, 100 bucks. 100 bucks. 100 bucks. There we go. 100 bucks. How long should we get Turbo to come up with 100 bucks? I can come back tomorrow. Come back tomorrow. Come back tomorrow. Let's wrap this baby up. Thank you so much. I'm pressing stop now.